Hey, Mom, where's Adrian? I don't know, Colton. Your brother must be busy. I don't want my own brother to miss my graduation party. He's always been there for me. Where could he be? You're pathetic, Cobalt. This city will be mine. Not today, loser. Uh, hey, bro. Dude, where are you? You're missing my graduation party. Sorry, I'm a bit tied up right now. I'm picking up your cake right now. I'll be right there. See? I told you! I'm here! Sorry for being late. Oh no! Am I late to the party? How rude of me! I'll handle this jerk. Just stay safe. <laughs> that was easy. Wow, that was incredible! Everyone please line up for a picture with Cobalt. Isn't he amazing? What the heck, Mom? This is my party, not his. Deal with it, Colton. Your brother is a superhero! Yeah. And you obviously love him more than me. Huh? What's this? Oh my gosh, no way! Adrian, guess what? What is it, dude? I got my first interview as a design assistant at Gucci. Oh, wow, all your hard work is paying off. I'm so proud of you. When is it? It's on Tuesday. Colton, what are you doing? You know you're not supposed to be distracting Adrian while he's working out. Mom, Colton's got an interview with Gucci. Yeah, I could be a design assistant. I don't care. You know how important Adrian's training is. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to tell him and you. It could have waited until later. Now leave your brother alone. I can't believe it. She doesn't care about me at all, does she? Yeah, she does, dude. She's her mom. She loves the both of us. I don't know, man. She has a real funny way of showing it. Well, boys, are we done? I'm done. Yeah, Mom, thanks for dinner. Of course. Anything for my superhero son. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, great. Just some low lies robbing a bank again. Well, you better go stop them, honey. Cobalt has a job to do. Right, okay. I'll see you at home. <sighs> I wish your father was still alive to see your brother like this. He would be so proud of him. I hope he would be proud of me, too. Well, your brother is a superhero, and you're not. It's different. What? So you think just because I'm not that he wouldn't be proud of me then? Oh, stop. You're being dramatic, and you're so jealous of your brother. I'm not jealous. Yes, you are. You need to grow up, Colton. You know what? I think you need to walk home. Maybe that will change your attitude. What the heck? Wow. Thanks, Mom. Dude, when you get a job at Gucci, do you get, like, a discount? I don't know, Ty. Maybe. Oh, I hope so. You know how proud I am of you. This has been your dream for years. Yeah, I know. And it might just come true. I'm happy you're excited for me, dude. My mom definitely isn't. I don't get why she treats Adrian like a king and treats you, well, like, trash. I don't either, man. It's been like this ever since my dad died, though. Well, uh, maybe if you get the job, you can move out and get away from all of this. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Colton, do you think you can fix my cape? I got it torn, and Mom wanted you to fix it so I don't look stupid. Of course, man. Oh, by the way, I'm opening my superhero gym, and I want both of you to go. Oh, superhero gym? Oh, sweet! Of course, dude. W when is it? Oh, it's tomorrow. Wait, what? But my interview's tomorrow afternoon. Oh, you know, it's okay, man. We opened the gym early, and you can do both. I'll even fly you there myself. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I'll be there. I am so happy for you, Adrian. This is incredible. Yeah, thanks, Mom. A superhero gym? Yeah, I think that's a first. Yeah, bro. Superheroes need a safe place to work out, too. Plus, I'm sick of working out in the garage. Yeah, man. Hey, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Go? Go where? I think this gym needs a little chaos. Ha, ha, ha. Ugh, I'm so sick of this guy. Mom, Colton, you know the rules. Stick together. No, this sucks. It's fine, Colton. Your brother will be okay. I know he will be, Mom, but I have to be in my interview in half an hour. You're not going anywhere, Colton. You are going to stay put with me. I can't stay here, okay? I can't miss this opportunity. Look, can you just drive me there, please? No, I am supporting your brother. But he's not even here. I don't care. Fine, you can stay, but I'm leaving. Colton, stop it right now. I think I made it just in time. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, hi, I'm Colton. I'm here for my interview. Oh, yes, Colton. Glad you finally decided to show up. But I'm on time, aren't I? No, you're two minutes late. 
two minutes? Oh, man. Look, I'm sorry I'm late. I was just that. Honestly, I don't care. Do you know where you are right now? Yes, I do. This is Gucci. Gucci! The biggest, hottest, and most overpriced brand in the world. I am the manager here, and I don't stand for disrespect like this. Sir, I'm not trying to disrespect at all, okay? Just, just give me a chance. No! Absolutely not! I want you out of this store now! Please, no, stop. This is my dream. Well then, your dream is dead! Get out! Well, look who it is. Not now, Mom. I am so mad at you. Running away from your brother's event? Because you wouldn't drive me to my interview. You should have been supporting your brother. I am so disappointed in you. Go ahead, tell him how you feel, honey. What is it? Dude, I'm also mad you left. You know the rules. Adrian, what was I supposed to do, okay? Just throw away an opportunity? I was off fighting a supervillain. That means you and mom have to stick together. Threats are everywhere. That's why we lost dad. He went off on his own, and now he's dead. Look, uh, I know, okay? I'm sorry. Don't do that again. I'm guessing you didn't get that interview, huh? No, I was late, so the manager refused to interview me. I'm sorry, dude. Mom should have driven you. It's unfair, man. She loves you, and she basically hates me, and I'm honestly just sick of it. I'll talk to her, but I gotta admit, I don't see it like that. Of course you don't, man. And according to Mom, it's all about you. I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna apply for another job. Colton, stop playing video games. I need to talk to you. I'm not playing video games, and I don't feel like talking. Well, too bad. We need to talk about your attitude. It's terrible. Mom, I said I don't want to talk to you right now. Adrian told me you think I hate you? And you think that I love him more than you? Yeah, I do. Yes, I have been giving your brother more attention. Are you happy now? Well, why? I've wanted to know and you just kept denying it. Because Adrian is a superhero and he needs more love and support. Dad was a superhero too. And that's exactly why. Don't you think your brother feels pressure to live up to him? Because he does. It doesn't mean that you have the right to just forget about your other son. Well, clearly, your attitude isn't going to change, is it? Not now, because I'm hurt. And so am I. You are going to get over this, support your brother, and stop being so selfish. Conversation over. Hey, man. What's up, little bro? I want to talk to you about something. Oh, Cobalt! Come out to play! Ugh, what is it this time? Yo, loser! You can't be messing up my city! I am Omega Blue! And I can do whatever I want! You're not my mother! Hey, uh, can I, uh... Yeah, dude, go stop that guy. Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> ah! You will never outmatch my powers! No, Adrian! Well, this actually wasn't very fun. Let's have a rematch later or something, and do better next time! Colton, uh, uh, I need help. Don't worry, bro. I'm about to call an ambulance. No, oh, just take me to Dad's hideout under the house. Uh, and make sure you don't tell Mom about this, okay? Uh, okay, uh, hold on. Are you sure you're going to be fine? Yeah, I heal fast. I just need to stay off my leg for a little bit. Don't worry, I I'm just happy no one found out I got my butt kicked. Who was that guy? Uh, that psycho's name is Omega Blue. He's new around here. I heard he got some toxic Omega chemicals on him or something, and now he's got powers and wants to take over the city. Omega chemicals? That sounds familiar. Yeah, Dad used to study Omega chemicals. That's why it sounds familiar. Yeah, wait, I just found his file. <sighs> Those powers were too strong for me. What am I going to do? Maybe Dad has some kind of cure and I can take his powers away. Well, according to his records, he couldn't find a total cure. So there's no taking powers away, man. Ugh, that sucks. This guy's a jerk. But he has a sample of some kind of neutralizer here somewhere. Dude, I had no idea. What are you thinking? Well, it's clear you need something to help protect you from this guy's powers. And this is it. Maybe I can use this and make you a new super suit or something. It could be resistant to Omega powers. Gosh, that, that's a great idea. You think it could actually work? It's worth a try. I mean, I'd do anything to help you out. Boys, where are you? Boys! Oh, no. Adrian? Oh, my gosh, what happened? 
It's nothing, Mom. I'm fine. Does it have something to do with this? That's right, folks. This supervillain, calling himself Omega Blue, is causing chaos and wreaking havoc all over the city. Citizens are terrified. And all this incredibly charming news reporter wants to know is, where is our city's superhero, Cobalt, to stop this maniac? <coughs> More on this story at 11. Oh, yeah. Uh, that guy. Is he the one that did this to you? Yeah, maybe. Adrian! Listen, it's okay. Colton is going to make me a new super suit that can resist his powers. Adrian, I don't think relying on your brother is very smart. Don't worry, Mom. I trust Colton, and you should too. I don't want you to get hurt, sweetie. I'm a superhero, Mom. You know that's the risk I take every day. I trust you, man, and I know you can do it. Thanks, dude. I'll get started on it right now. Okay, now I need to infuse this fabric with the neutralizer. Man, I hope this works. Colton, I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, I hope so too, but I really think this might work. I don't like this idea at all. It's stupid. I know you think that, Mom. You made that painfully clear already. Yet, you're still putting your brother's life in your hand. What if he gets hurt again, or worse? Well, I can't think like that, Mom. I need to stay positive. And if this new suit doesn't work, then I'll just try something else. Ugh, unbelievable. I just want to help my brother. You know what I think? I think you're just trying to steal your brother's spotlight. I don't care about the spotlight, Mom. Adrian needs my help. So as his family, I'm doing that. I'm there for him. Isn't that what you wanted me to do? Of course, but not like this. Well, I've got to try. And I have to trust that Dad's neutralizer will work. You better not mess this up, Colton. For Adrian's sake. And I mean it, too. Yeah, as if I didn't have enough pressure already. Thanks for believing in me, Mom. Dude, the new costume fits perfectly. You killed it. Hopefully with Dad's neutralizer, it should work, I think. It's gonna work, bro. Have some faith in yourself. Yeah, well, Mom definitely doesn't have any. Uh, she's just overprotective of me. You know that. I'm just getting sick of her putting me down all the time. But look, whatever. Now we just need to put the suit to the test. Speaking of, is that? Yup, it's Omega Blue, all right. Looks like he's robbing a bank. Well, I guess it's now or never. Yeah, dude, let's go see if this new suit works. <laughs> this was too easy. Like stealing candy from a baby. Stealing from a baby? That's low, dude, even for you. Ah, Cobalt. Here to embarrass yourself some more? Sure, why not? Give me your best shot. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? 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 What the heck? <laughs> Sweet, it does work. No, hold on. Wait, no, seriously, this this, this is impossible. This this isn't right. <laughs> Looks like you're done for. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Omega Blue is finally behind bars thanks to our incredible hero Cobalt. Now. Cobalt, is it true you defeated Omega Blue with just one hit? That's right, and I wanted this city to know that I'm here to protect them, no matter what. That is incredible news. I heard a lot of people were scared of Omega Blue. <laughs> Not me, of course, but other people were, <laughs> for sure. Hey, Cobalt. Colton, dude, you're here? Yeah, man, I was worried about you. Did the suit work? It worked perfectly, bro. I knew you could do it. Suit? What's this about a suit? I love suits. And who is this man, Cobalt? This is my brother, Colton, and he designed me a new superhero suit. He did? Yeah, and he made it so I am immune to Omega Blue's powers. Wow, now this is an exclusive scoop. Cobalt's genius brother has made him a special superhero suit, and a very stylish one, might I add. Thanks, Chip. I couldn't do this without my brother. Thanks, man. I'm just happy that I can help you out. There he is! The city's newest celebrity! <laughs> and my best friend! Hold on, you saw me on the news? Oh, sure, man! On the news, on Twitter? No, you're messing with me. Not nah, dude, not this time! They're calling you the superhero designer! <laughs> no way, that's kind of insane! I know! My best friend is now famous and all over the news! They're calling me the superhero designer, huh? 
Oh man, I know that look on your face. You're coming up with a plan, aren't you? Well, since being a normal designer was a total bust, why don't I just make my own superhero clothing line? What the heck? That's a sick idea! I, I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. Because I wasn't here to inspire you, obviously, bro. Right, Ty. Look, I could use my dad's old research, make my own superhero materials, design cool suits for superheroes all over the world. This could be huge. Yeah, man. And you know my mom is a real estate agent. She can help you get a shop, too. That would be incredible. I guess my dream of being a designer isn't dead after all. I'm going to make this happen. And do you think you can help me? Are you kidding? Of course I do. This job sucks. Awesome, man. Let's get started first thing tomorrow. I know, I know. I'm late, okay? My bad. Dude, you're a superhero who can fly, but you're always late. Uh, whatever, man. I'm here now. What do you want to show me? This. Come in and check it out. Okay, so it's an empty store. That's cool. It will be cool when I make this my superhero design shop. Oh, snap, dude. So you're actually going to do it? Yep, I am. I'm going to be the world's best superhero suit designer. Oh, man, that is such a sick idea. I love it. I think this is it, man. This is my real calling. I feel more passionate about this than ever. Now, let's just see if mom is going to be proud, too. So this is it, huh? This is what you spent all your savings on? Yep. What do you think? Well, I think it's a big waste of money and time. There's no way this idea of yours will succeed. You can't be serious, Mom. Come on, Mom. This is Colton's dream. Now, just stop wasting your breath, man. She's never going to be excited about anything I do. <laughs> You're probably right for once. Would you guys at least come to my grand opening? It's next month. Yeah, man, of course. Mm, probably not. Now, come on, Adrian. You have a meet and greet at your gym. Don't let her stop you, man. Don't give up on this. I'm not. Don't worry. Adrian, let's go. I'm so over this. I'm going to show her that I can make this succeed and prove her wrong. Thanks for coming, everyone. Super Suit Central is now officially open. I need a new cave. Man, this place actually looks so sick. God, dude, and we did this in a month. This is going to be a world record. Yeah, it helps that Adrian came by to help us in his downtime. Oh, yeah, man, your brother was awesome. Speaking of my family, are they here? Have you seen them? Uh, no, man, I actually haven't. I don't think they're even here. What the heck? This is super important to me. Dude, where are you? Sup, bro? I'm about to go on TV with Chip Tassel. Isn't that sick? Yeah, sure, it would be, but you knew that I was opening the store today. No, I didn't. Mom said it was tomorrow. Of course she did, dude. She lied to you. She said that's why she booked this for me today. Yeah, she did that to make sure you weren't going to be here. I'm so sick of her, man. Hey, look, I can cancel this and be there in a flash. No, uh, dude, it's fine. Forget it. Have fun with your interview. Oh, honey, you did great. Oh, Colton. Dude, come here. You've got to check this out. No, nah, it's all right, man. I don't really want to right now. Colton, don't be rude. I'm rude? You don't have a right to say that, Mom. <laughs> Excuse me? You booked Adrian that interview and lied to him about my store opening. Yeah, you did lie to me, Mom. Why would you do that? You knew this was a big day for me. Well, I wanted Adrian to do something for himself. Something that would make him feel good. Of course. It's all about Adrian. Never about me. Yeah, it, it was nice to be on the news, but I want to go to the grand opening too. Now, why would you want to waste your time on your brother's selfish accomplishments? He's just trying to steal your spotlight, honey. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to live my life and want a supportive family there by my side. Well, maybe you should have come up with another idea instead of riding off your brother's coattails. I'm so sick of all this fighting. I'm out of here. Now look what you've done. Look what I've done? No, Mom. You did this on your own. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, who the heck are you? I am Spectre, and I am your worst nightmare. Yeah, whatever, bub. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> yeah! Stupid fat man. Boss? What are you doing here? Helping you escape, since you can't do it yourself. I'm sorry, boss. It was an accident, I promise. I demand to know what happened. Eh, it was nothing. Tell me 
right now, or I'll blast you into oblivion! Okay, okay, I'll tell you. That lame superhero, Cobalt, he got some new super suit. So what? Well, Cobalt's new suit resisted my powers. I didn't know how he did it, but it's true! A suit that makes him immune to your powers, huh? <laughs> well then, two can play at that game. Hey man, how's Celestia's new suit coming along? I think she's gonna love it, Ty. It's turning out great. Oh, sweet! She's one of the coolest heroes out there. Oh, look, we've got another customer. Hey there, welcome to the store. Can I help you find anything? Are you Colton? Yes, I am. And you are? The name is Spectre. And word is, you make the best superhero suits around. Wow, word must be getting out fast. That's awesome! Yeah, that's me. Welcome to the store. I'm in the market for a new custom suit. Of course, what can I make for you? I want my new suit to look just like this one. But this annoying and stuck up villain I keep fighting has some unique powers. So I need this chemical neutralizer infused into my suit so I can resist him. Another power resistant suit, huh? Can you do that for me? Yeah, uh, sure thing, man. That's kind of my specialty. Excellent. Here's a million dollars. I need the suit as soon as possible. Wow, um, I can have this ready for you by Friday. <laughs> Good. Pleasure doing business with you, kid. Figured I'd find you here. Yeah, just keeping an eye on things. I haven't talked to you for like a week. How are you? Dad left a legacy for me with the city, with our family. I'm supposed to keep everyone safe. I don't know if I could do it, man. Oh, great. Gas station is on fire. Should get down there. Huh? Where is everyone? I've never seen you before. You must be new. I'm here to take back what is mine. Yeah, okay. This shouldn't take long. <laughs> Wait, what? Ugh, enough is enough. It's time to teach you a lesson. Ha ah! <laughs> The city belongs to the Spectre now. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so happy you're okay. What happened out there, dude? Ugh, it was some new super. And he's extremely powerful. Well, can't you call some of your super friends to help you handle this guy? Maybe Celestia or Nightmare? Listen, we have a bigger problem. He's immune to my power somehow. They're useless against him. Did you get his name? Yeah, I did before I passed out. He called himself Spectre? Hold on. Spectre? The name is Spectre. Yeah, that's what he said. Someone came into the store last week with that name and got a custom suit from me. Colton! You gave a supervillain a suit immune to your brother's powers? Not cool! What the heck, man? Dude, I'm sorry, okay? I, I thought he was a good guy. If you had never made that stupid suit, your brother wouldn't be in the hospital right now. I didn't know this was gonna happen, okay? You can't just sell special suits to just anyone. I am disgusted with you. I think you need to leave Colton, now. I thought that guy said he was a hero. Did he, or, oh no. I don't think he did, I just made a big mistake. I have to make up for it, maybe a new suit. Maybe there's something else in Dad's old files. Well, Colton, your brother is stuck at the hospital tonight. I hope you're happy. Of course I'm not happy. You shouldn't be. I can't believe you would betray your own family. I would never. I demand that you pack your things and leave this house at once. Are you serious? Yes, I am. When your brother gets home, he will need to rest. And I don't want you anywhere near him. This was just a mistake, Mom. One I won't ever make again, okay? Just listen. No, I don't believe you. Go make some more supervillain suits. Make your father as disappointed in you as your brother and I are. You know what? That's it. I'm going to leave. And I'm never going to come back. I guess I can sleep at the shop tonight. It's better than nothing. She really thinks I would turn on my own family? I would never do that. Not in a million years. Ah! You! So, you remember me? You're the one that hurt my brother! Part of the job, kid. Now listen to me. I need you 
to make me more suits for my friends. Yeah, no way. I refuse. You have no idea how much pain you've caused me. You're a monster. Now, Colton, is that any way to speak to your father? What? <laughs> it's been a long time, son. No, 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 this is impossible. You, you, you died! Yes, that was the idea. Worked perfectly. <laughs> now, you're gonna make me those suits, right? No. This is an order from your father. No! Oh, Colton, disobeying your father? I guess you'll have to be punished. Ah! <laughs> oh, Colton! You're grounded! <laughs> Colton? Colton! Don't worry, I've got you, bro. Colton, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, not really. Mind telling me what just happened in there? Adrian, th th that, that villain, Spectre, it, it, it's dad! Oh, that's impossible. You must have hit your head or something. No, Adrian, I'm serious. How? How could that even happen? Dad is dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Dad's nemesis Titan was attacking a building. Dad went in to stop him. I need you all to go run and hide. It's too dangerous for you here. You have to split up so Titan doesn't follow you. Charlie, we have to stick together. Dad, I I'm scared. Don't worry. I'll be right back to come find you. Now go. No! I don't know how he survived, but it was him, okay? I know it. And I think he planned the whole thing. No, no, Dad is Spectre? Why is this happening? I don't know, but we're gonna find out, okay? We have to. Don't worry. You're right, and we have to stick together. And we have to tell Mom. I shouldn't be back here, dude. Mom kicked me out. I know, and it's fine. I've got your back. Adrian, is that you? I thought, what is he doing here? Colton has something to tell you. I don't want to hear it. You'll want to hear this. Look, Mom, I know it's going to sound crazy, but I saw Dad tonight. No, you didn't. Mom, listen to me. Dad is alive, and I need to go find him right now. But you're still hurt. I don't care. Now, this is serious, and I want you two to stick together. If there's an emergency, alert me. Atrian, if this is your father, he's extremely powerful. I know that, and that's why I want Colton to stay at home with you. Absolutely not! I kicked him out! My job is to keep you two safe, no matter what. And remember, Mom, you know the rules. <sighs> Fine, I give in, Adrian. Good. Now please, stay out of harm's way. Well, this is just a mess. I think it's almost about done. Colton, what are you doing down here? Working on a better suit for Adrian. Oh, really? And why would you do that? So you can sabotage your brother again? No, I'm doing this to help him, okay? So if you don't have anything nice to say to me, you should just leave. Fine, you just better clean up this mess before your brother gets back. This is his base, not yours. Okay, Dad, come on out. It's time for a family reunion. Everything should be ready for the next step in my plan. My son won't make us any more suits. So you're out of luck. Ah, just great. Hey, Dad, we need to talk. Omega, deal with her. As you wish, boss. Where did he go? Your dad is just going home. <laughs> what? Yeah, he wants to get the family back together. <laughs> ah! Okay, that's it. This is going to help Adrian. I just know it. Adrian! Bro, did you find him? Yeah. Where's mom? She should be upstairs, in the house. No, she's not! What? Mom, where are you? Mom! Mom, this isn't funny! Mom! I swear, dude, I saw her like an hour ago in the base. I know she came back up here. Listen, I have trackers on your phones. Let's get back to the base. There she is! What is she doing on the west side of town? She knows we're supposed to stick together. Dad was coming here. He must have taken her. Then we have to go get her. Maybe we can stop him. Turn him back to the good side? Maybe we can try. Okay, now stay here. No, I'm going to go with you, okay? It's our mom and our dad. You're right. Let's go. Hold on. First, put on your new suit. 
When we get in there, stick close to me. You've got it. Boys! Are you okay? It's fine, but Colton, you were right. It's your father. Of course it is. Now, isn't it nice? All of us back together again. What is wrong with you, Dad? Nothing is wrong with me, son. Actually, I'm quite happy. I want you boys to join me in taking back this city. Yeah, not gonna happen. I used to rule this city, and it will bow before me now that I have returned. A superhero son, and a son that can make incredible armor? What more could I need? Why? Why would you just leave us like that? We're family. Why have you lied to us all this time? We thought you were dead. Oh, stop crying. I ran away because of you. I thought having a family was gonna make me weak, but now I can see my family can actually help me be stronger and more powerful. <laughs> no, Charlie, please leave the boys alone. Please, dad, you can't. You are a hero, our hero. No, I will never be a pathetic hero of the people. I will be their ruler instead. Then we will stop you. I won't let you stand in my way. Ah, what? Whoa, it works. The suit charges your powers, dude. Use them. Ah! Oh, oh. oh my gosh, boys, you did it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this building is burning down. There is no end in sight, and there is still someone stuck inside. Oh no, where's my girlfriend, Julia? Julia! Oh, oh, see, I told you, you're safe now. You're my hero, Blaze. Wow, an incredible save by this city's superhero. Blaze, well done. You saved someone's life again. Of course, I had to save my girlfriend. Wait, what? Julia, is this true? Are you cheating on me? What is this? You know this person? Uh, no, I, I don't know who he is. Julia, cut it. I'm your boyfriend. No, you're not. I am. Ha! Wow, what an idiot. Yeah, get lost, you creep. Leave me and my boyfriend alone. Wow, my girlfriend is cheating on me with a superhero? That was so embarrassing. Now it's all over the news that Julia's cheating on me. I can't wait for everyone to see that. Mom and dad are gonna be mortified. We've been together for five years. How did I not see this coming? Oh, great, you're here? Uh, yeah, I am. We live here, Julia. I'm packing my things and leaving you. But why? I wanna know why you cheated on me to begin with. Uh, because a life with Blaze is full of excitement and fame. Yeah, you're just a normal nobody loser. Wow. I really thought you loved me. This is sad. I'm gonna go pack my bag. Maybe I'll just come and get the rest of my things later. Aw, what's wrong, little man? Are you upset? Boo-hoo. Yeah, I am. You suck and get out of my house. Oh, yeah? Make me. Ha! Ew, stop fighting, you two. This is so dumb. Yeah, well, I want to fight for you, Julie. I love you. Well, it's over, and I'm with Blaze now. Come on, babe. Let's go back to my pet house. Yay! Come on, dude, what's going on? You've been down, like, all day. I just can't stop thinking about Julia and how much I loved her, you know? I know, but it's pretty obvious she doesn't love you anymore, dude. Maybe I can get her to fall in love with me again? Dude, she's dating Blaze, and he's a superhero. Yeah, yeah, I know. And no offense, but you're just a photographer for an online blog. I don't think you can even compete with him. Carter! This is a big event on Saturday at Town Hall, and I need you to work it. Working on the weekend? Is that a problem? Well, actually, I was going to ask if I can get some time off. No, those pictures aren't going to make themselves. I just want some time off to process my breakup, okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Be there on Saturday or you're fired. Well, looks like I'm working on Saturday. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Good luck, dude. And just try to forget about Julia. It's for the best. Almost done. I can't wait to get out of this place. Hey, Julia. Hey, Bethany. I'm glad I caught you guys. I'm just getting the last of my things, okay? We don't need a big scene here. Look, I'm not trying to make one, okay? Can we just talk for a second? Okay, fine. Ew. You're gonna talk to him? Whatever. I'm going inside to get the last box. 
Make it quick. Come on, Julia. We've been together for so long. Just give me a second chance. I can have anything I want now that I'm dating Blaze. He's a superhero. <sighs> That's it. Can we go now? Yeah, one sec. Hey, babe, we're ready. Okay, love you, bye. What's up, babe? Can you get this last box? It's so heavy. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> wow. He is so strong. Yeah, dating a superhero is the best thing ever. Julia, you're making a big mistake, okay? I love you. Only mistake was dating you. Goodbye, Carter. Well, it's Friday night, and I have nothing to do now that I don't have Julia. Maybe I should just go home. Hey, Quimby, can I get $20 on pump two? Hey, man! Like, can you, like, zip it? I'm trying to watch the news here. Welcome back. This segment's all about the superhero Blaze and his new girlfriend, Julia. Wait, a, wait, wait, wait a minute, Carter. Is, is that, like, your girlfriend? Yeah, she used to be. Blaze will also be accepting an award from the mayor on Saturday morning. Wow, man, no wonder she left you. Blaze is, like, like the coolest superhero ever. No, he's not. Here, Quimby, just $20 on two, okay? And I, I gotta go. Have a sad night alone, just like poor old me, Quimby. So, that's the job I have to do this weekend? This sucks, I hate Blaze. Hey, did you just say you hate Blaze? Yeah, so what? I hate Blaze too. He sucks, and he's a total fraud. Yeah, he is, I don't know. I, I wish I could just knock that fake smile off of his face. <laughs> Sounds like you want revenge. I can help you with that. Uh, no thanks, man. Sounds a little dark. I don't want to make an idiot of myself again. Well, if you change your mind, give me a call. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, just a couple of pictures and then I'm out of here. I would like to give this award to our incredible superhero for saving our lives time and time again and being just an incredible person. Ladies and gentlemen, Blaze! Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Well, I'm just like a normal superhero. My girlfriend's the one that's incredible. I mean, have you all met her yet? This is Julia. Look, she's super hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How did I do? You did perfect, babe. Hey, press man, take my picture with my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Hold on, babe. Isn't that like your ex-loser boyfriend? Ugh, don't remind me. Ew. Look at how sad he looks. Oh, yeah. Losers always look sad. You're lucky you're dating a winner now. That guy is the biggest jerk in this city. He needs to be taken down a peg. Hey, man. It's me. Yeah, the guy from the gas station last night. I'm in. Whoa. What is this place? Just a little hideout I built. It's where I can keep my eye on things. Keep an eye on things? Okay, man. So, you finally come to your senses, huh? Yeah, dude. Look, I just can't stand Blaze. And I definitely can't stand by while everyone thinks he's an incredible person. He's just a jerk. Yeah, we're gonna stop him. But how? By becoming superheroes ourselves. Wait, you're a superhero? Of course I am. My name is Shadow, and I can help you become a superhero too. Together, we can use our powers and expose Blaze for who he really is. Yeah, I just, I don't have any superpowers. Not yet. Would you like some? I can give them to you. Wait, what? You can? No way, man. This is some kind of joke. It's not a joke. And yes, I can. Okay, prove it. Wait, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my, 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 ah, where am I? The hospital? Man, was that all a dream? What was that? I heard screaming. Oh, uh, yeah, it was me. Look, what am I doing here? Ah, you're awake. The cops brought you in, found you passed out under a bridge. You've been unconscious for three days. Three days? Oh, no, 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 this isn't good. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Look, just lie down, okay? need to run some tests. No, look, I, I feel fine, okay? Just just leave me alone. Oh! Ah, security! I need help in here! Oh, quiet, please! Look, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that! Security, help! I'm under attack! Yeah, you're under arrest, you big loser! Wait, no, stop! Ah! 
Oh my gosh! It wasn't a dream! I have powers! Oh, okay. I think I'm safe now. Good. You survived. You! Dude, what did you do to me? I gave you what you wanted. You want to put Blaze in his place, don't you? Yeah, of course I do, but I accidentally hurt two people back there. Well then, you're welcome. <laughs> and you're stronger than I thought. Most people don't survive that ritual. What, you're saying you could have killed me? Are you insane? But I didn't. You survived, and this is incredible news. Now, we can put an end to Blaze and his reign over the city. No, no, I'm sorry. Th this is just too much, man. Take the powers back. I don't want them anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You're gonna be stuck like this forever. Forever? No, I, I can't do this. Hey, watch it. Look, dude, see, I can't even control them. Don't worry, my friend. I can help you control these powers. <sighs> Fine, just please help me control them. <laughs> Learn to control your power, and now you need a superhero name. From now on, you'll be known as Nightmare. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh my goodness! Help us! It's a robbery! Hold on, Shadow. What? Why are we robbing a bank? This is a legit crime. Didn't you listen to my plan? How else do you get a superhero's attention but pretending to do a crime? All right, fine. What now? We split up. You draw Blaze out and take him out. I'll be there to help you. Okay, I got it. Joe, stop right there, loser. Uh, this better work. Are you stupid? This is my city. You can't be robbing banks. <laughs> you must be new here. Yeah, I am new. Now, I'm going to show everyone what a mean and cruel person you really are. Oh, come on. Where'd he go? Man, that guy can really pack a punch. I think I almost had him. Where were you? You were late for our date. Yo, yeah, I'm sorry, babe. Some new supervillain robbed a bank. I had to stop him. Who's more important to you, me or some dumb villain? You are, babe, but like, this is my job. <sighs> Whatever. Can we still go get pizza? I'm starving. No, I'm going home. Well, looks like there's already trouble in paradise, huh? Shadow, where did you go? You said you were gonna help me. I was there the whole time, watching you. <laughs> You're becoming much more powerful. Yeah, I don't know. Not powerful enough. Don't worry, my friend. Our plan is already working. And now, we have to do something to show everyone how much Blaze sucks. You have to beat him in the next fight. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I just want my girlfriend back. Can I tell Julia? No, no one can know that you're a nightmare. It's gonna ruin everything. Listen, I'm gonna help you get your girlfriend back. We just have to be patient. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> yes, Diane, that's right. Rumor has it that there are two new supervillains in town. No leads on the names yet, but I'm thinking Mr. Big Idiot Man and Stupid Face. This town is really scared of these new guys. Wait, they are? Oh yeah, Boss just made me do a whole post about those jerks, and it's going viral right now. I don't know, they, they seem okay to me. I mean, they haven't really committed any real crimes. What? Are you crazy? Hey losers, what are you doing? There's a big superhero battle in the city right now. Is it Blaze? How should I know? I'm not there, I'm right here. So both of you get up and get down there and get me that story. Uh, yes sir. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Of course, it's him. Ah, you think you're gonna defeat me? I'm the Vortex. There's no way you're gonna win. Cha, I'm sorry, Vortex, but nothing can stand against the Blaze. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Who's your hero, huh? Oh my gosh, this guy's just insufferable. Carter, what are you doing here? I'm working. Yeah, right. You're so obsessed with me. Look, I'm just doing my job, okay? I'm a reporter. You know this. Man, is this guy bothering you? He's always bothering me. I don't know who you are, but you can't talk to my girlfriend. Dude, she's the one that started to talk to me, okay? And I'm Carter. You know who I am. You stole Julia from me. 
No, I'm sorry. You're ugly and you must not be memorable at all. He isn't. Come on, Blaze. Let's get out of here. Chop it. This place is like so lit. What the heck does she even see in that guy? Dude, how do you keep getting in my house? I'm Shadow. I can be anywhere. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. Look, we need to talk. You know people think we're villains, right? You think I'm a villain? Dude, I don't even know who you really are. The bad guy is out there right now, lying to the world. And it's not us, it's Blaze. We need to expose him. Yeah, well how? How do we show everyone that their hero is a total fraud? You don't see the big picture. Just trust me, okay? I have a plan. And I have a new mission for us tonight. You know what? No. I think this entire thing's just a bit too much for me. What are you saying? I want to back out. I don't want people to think that I'm a villain, and you won't give me any straight answers. You want a straight answer? Fine. Come with me and bring your suit and your camera. The police station? What are we doing here? You wanted to see how we're gonna stop Blaze, huh? We'll make sure you get a good shot of that. It's him and that villain. Thanks for getting me out of there, Blaze. That place sucked. Yeah, I mean, that was our deal. You did a good job out there, Vortex. Everyone bought it. Speaking of buying things. Oh, yeah, of course. Here's your payment, as I promised. <laughs> Sweet. And as I promised, I won't say a thing. You better not, or I'll incinerate you! Now get lost! I can't believe it, he's staging these fights just to get more popular! And now, you have the evidence. Do you trust me now? Okay, alright, fine. I'm back on board. What's our next step? Our next step is gonna happen tomorrow morning. I'll text you the location. Be there at 7 a.m. This is great! Blaze is going down, and he truly deserves it. And soon, Julia will see the truth herself. Alright, this is the place. Hold on. Wait, this is Julia's work. Shadow, look, this has to be a mistake, okay? Oh, I don't make mistakes. Huh, I'm surprised they actually fixed up the place so fast. Yeah, but this is Julia's office. What are we doing here? I know it's her office. We're gonna kidnap her. What? No, dude, we can't just kidnap a person. Yes, we can. And we will. Right now. Here she comes. <laughs> Oh no, no! Ah, get away from me! No, Shadow! Leave her alone! No, this is the plan. You signed up for this. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a good idea anymore. This is how we're gonna capture Blaze. This is gonna work. Now, let's get her back to the base. You two are the new supervillains? I knew it! Let me out of here! No, we're not villains, okay? Yeah, you misunderstand us. I'm Shadow, and this is my friend, Nightmare. We just want to talk. Well, idiots, my boyfriend will be here any minute to save me. You two don't stand a chance against him. Huh, wow. Charming girl. Shadow, we need to stop this. We can't just keep her here. We have to. It's important. Now, I need to go. I have another part of our mission to complete. You stay here and keep an eye on her. No, Shadow! So are you gonna let me out or what, Mr. Nightmare? It's, it's just Nightmare and apparently I can't. Well, whatever, this is stupid. And so are you and your dumb little friend. Look, look I'm sorry that you got caught up into this, okay? And look, why are you even dating Blaze? What? I don't know, I mean, you seem like a good person to me, and he's a monster, he, he's a fake. He stages his fight so this entire town will love him. You don't know me, and you're lying. That's what supervillains do, lie. I'm not a villain, Julia, Blazes. Shut up, I'm not listening to you. Fine, you know what? If you won't listen to Nightmare, then maybe you'll listen to me. Julia? Carter, what the heck? Why are you here? I was just following those guys for a story. N now, uh, uh, come on, let's get you out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was one wild story, y'all. Yeah, now can you just go ahead and arrest those two losers? Okay, that's what I does, y'all. Arrest fools on the day of the basums. Thanks for saving me though, Carter. Y yeah, don't mention it. Julia, are you okay? 
Yeah, no thanks to you. Look, babe, I'm sorry. So much for having a superhero boyfriend. Like, where were you? Oh, I, I had to go meet my dentist. You know, <laughs> the smile is a million bucks, you know, literally. <laughs> Just take me home. Thanks again, Carter. Thanks, Carter? For what? Um, oh, uh, I just saved her life. I was there when you weren't. Dude, my fist, your face, right now! Oh my goodness! Blaze, you hear y'all? Okay, this is good. There's a yeah. super villains attacking the neighborhoods! Oh, don't worry, Officer Toothless. Blaze is on the case. I ain't no toothless, y'all. I got two teeth. Hold on. Did you say super villain? This is terrible. So much loss for so many people. All of these homes just gone. Hold on. No, no, no. Is that Greg's house? Oh no, not Greg. I hope he's okay. It's okay, Greg's. You's alive, so like, that's farms. Yeah, thanks, Officer Rufus. Greg, I'm happy you're okay. Not really, Carter. Didn't you see? My home was completely destroyed. Some mams called Shadams came here and just went wild, y'all. Absolutely wild. Shadams? Wait, you mean Shadow? Yes, that is what I had said, y'all. Okay, he attacked all these homes and scared all these little peepums. Yeah, you can say that again. I need to go talk to Chet Flendersims, okay? He needs to know this story, y'all. Dude, just uh, come stay at my place. Thanks, Carter. I might take you up on that, but I think I need to move away. What do you mean? Move away? Where? Anywhere from here, man. This is too much destruction. I almost got hurt. Seriously. All of this has gone way too far. You know what? I agree. This has gone too far. Shadow, what is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm great. <laughs> Did you see all the headlines? Neighborhood taken by Shadow. Blaze, nowhere in sight. <laughs> it's incredible. No, it's not. This has gone too far. It was nothing. I didn't actually hurt anyone. Yeah, you did. And why? It was all part of a plan this whole time. You distract Blaze with Julia. I destroy and cause havoc. It's simple. I knew it. You really are a monster. You're worse than Blaze. Don't ever say that. I am nothing like Blaze. I hate that man. Why? Let me guess. He won't let you cause destruction and chaos. No, because I was once Blaze's sidekick, but he stole my girlfriend too. I don't care, Shadow. This is enough, and you have to stop now. I can't stop. It's too late. Plus, you're the one that started all of this. No, I didn't start anything. I was manipulated by you. And now you need to help me finish it. No, I'm done, and so are you. Well then, if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. I see through all the lies now. You weren't turning me into a hero. You were turning me into another you. A villain. And this stops now! <laughs> Mom and Dad's old cabin. They haven't been here in years, and it's completely off the grid. I just need somewhere to hide and to think. I don't know, trusting Shadow was a mistake. Maybe what he said was true. Maybe Blaze did steal his girlfriend. But that doesn't give him the right to do what he's doing. It's not okay. I think trying to get back Julia and trying to get my own revenge on Blaze has turned me into something that I'm not, and I'm not proud of it. I need to figure out how to fix all of this. Oh my gosh, where is he? Ew. Who's that? Oh, it's no one, babe. Just the president. What the heck is going on here? Oh my gosh, Blaze. Just like, tell her already. Oh, uh, Julia. Ugh, fine. I'm cheating on you, okay? What? With my best friend? Well, former best friend. How long has this been going on? Uh, I don't know, like four months now? Yeah, four months. What? We've been together for four months. Yeah, and you're the one that introduced me to Bethany. When I saw her, I thought that she was way better than you and way hotter than you. You're seriously dumping me for her? Yeah, now come on, Bethany. Let me fly you around the city or something. Yay! Wow, that's a great shot. Wait, hold on. Julia? Carter, you're here. Yeah, this is my parents' vacation home. What are you doing here? I still had a key to this place, and I needed to get out of town for a while. I thought your mom and dad wouldn't mind. Get out of town? Why? What's going on? Well, <laughs> you'll be happy to know Blaze and I are done. Really? Yeah, he's been cheating on me with Bethany this whole time. 
I told you a while ago, I never liked Bethany. Well, you were right. I know the truth, and I was thinking, maybe we should get back together. Look, I'm sorry, Julia, but after everything, I don't think I want to be with you anymore. Wow. <laughs> well, this sucks. I also need to tell you something else. What? I am Nightmare. You're kidding. I'm not. Uh, why do you think I was there to save you? So you kidnapped me? Just to save me? No, I didn't want you to be kidnapped, okay? That was all Shadow. No more lies. I'm going to go tell Blaze. No, Julia, don't! Stop! Well, no use in hiding anymore. I can't just run away forever. Ha! So ah! it's true. You're the idiot nightmare. Yeah, surprise. Well, now I know your secret, loser, and I'm gonna bring you to jail where you belong. Oh, like the other fake villains you've defeated? Well, you're just gonna let me out right after anyways, right? And then pay me? Cause that's what you do for everyone else. Oh, you suck! Yeah, well, I know your secret, too. Being a fake hero. And you're a liar. And I'm gonna show everyone the truth. Don't you dare tell anybody this, or I will ruin your life forever! Well, I thought that you already did when you stole Julia from me. But now, I see you for who you really are. An insecure, and this ends now! Get off my property. Fine! This isn't over, loser! You haven't seen the last of me yet! Okay, I know what I need to do now. I need to be a real hero. All right, man. Now I need you to go to the park and start attacking people. I don't know, find an old lady and steal her purse or something. Got it? Yeah, or like steal her crutches. All right, yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay, Blaze. Not gonna let that happen. Yeah, I'm gonna take over this stupid city, yeah! Yeah, sorry to ruin your party. What the heck? Who are you? Huh? Oh my goodness, you stopped that crazy ma'ams, y'all. Yeah, no problem, Officer Rufus. Just take him to jail. What the? No. You saved the days, not ma'ams. And that's usually my job, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. You look like a real hero now. No, that idiot ruined everything. Wow, not ma'ams. You is one good superhero, y'all. Thanks, Officer Rufus. I'm just trying to make up for some lost time. Look, okay, I don't know what that means, but there's like press people outside and they want to talk to you, y'all. Honestly, I don't need all that attention. Why don't you just go be on TV? Well, looks like my friend finally came back home. Do you think I really wouldn't notice his return? He's a fool, and I think it's time for some payback. Hey, it's me. I think we need to talk. <laughs> Carter, or should I call you Nightmare? Carter is okay, Julia. I bet you already told everyone about my identity anyways. What? No, I wouldn't do that. I know how important that is. Yeah, well, you told Blaze. I thought he would take me back, but he didn't. Then what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to say congratulations. Nightmare is all over the news as the true hero of the city. Yeah, well, I'm just doing what Blaze pretends to do, but I actually do it. Okay, I understand. But can we at least agree to be, like, friends? Yeah, yeah, we could be friends. <laughs> oh, Carter. This is gonna be perfect. This was a good idea, Julia. I needed to get some time away from work. You mean the news blog? No, I quit that a while ago. I meant from being Nightmare. So you're really taking this whole hero thing seriously? Yeah, I am. And I had no idea what being a superhero was really like until now. And you still don't. What the shadow? Julia, no! Don't move an inch, Carter. I wouldn't use your powers if I were you either. People are watching us. What do you want? I'm not working with you anymore. It's over. Just leave us alone. Oh, no. It's not over yet. If you want to keep your precious little girlfriend alive, you'll come with me, and you'll do as I say. Okay, fine. Just don't hurt her. I promise that you'll regret it. <laughs> okay, fine. Just shut up. Start walking. Hey, don't just drop her like that. Why do you care about her all of a sudden? She's my friend, and I care about my friends. It's something that you don't do. Oh. But I do care about my friends. I actually called my old friend just the other day. Yeah, and we decided to put an end to you once and for all. 
you two are working together? We always have. <laughs> I lied to you, you idiot. Yeah, paying the supervillains was Shadow's idea to start with. Dude's like really smart. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. But you did. And now we can finish the final part of my mission. Shaw, we're gonna go take over this whole stupid city. Uh, of course. Supervillains have super power proof cells. No! Don't worry, I've got you this time. Hey, Julia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just pretended to be out so they didn't notice. Oh, uh, good job. Now please, go stop them before it's too late. All right, hold on. So like, what's your genius plan again? I forget. It's easy, please. You go attack Town Hall, causing a distraction. Then I go in and capture the mayor. You come to save him but only if he surrenders the city and everything in it to us. Then do I, like, get to go on TV and flirt with hot babes? Yeah, whatever. Just make sure that I'm the one in control. Then you can do whatever you want. I'll go ahead. Wait for my signal. Cha, I got it. Oh, man. This is gonna be sick. I'm gonna be, like, the most popular superhero ever. Just shut up already. Okay, Blaze. Now, Blaze. Blaze, where are you? <laughs> You can't stop me. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I made you. You're a villain, just like me. You could have helped me. No, I'm not. It's over, Shadow. You tried to make me a villain, but in reality, you made me a hero. Congratulations, Diego. You won first place for creating your own AI. Thanks, Principal Salt. Wait, where are Mom and Maya? They're supposed to be here. What the? Are those explosions? Everyone, evacuate now! Holy guacamole! Take a look at that! Ooh, a hot dog! Sorry, wait up, guys! Oh my gosh, it's Maya! You picked the wrong day to mess with Celestia! <laughs> You're just a puny girl! You can't beat me! Ah! Whoa! Oh, oh. Mom, where were you? You missed me winning the science fair. Shush! No, now, Diego, your sister's a hero! You don't care about me at all, do you? Just, just say it, you love her more than me. Incredible job, honey! You did great! Go, Celestia! Yeah, see? That's what I thought. No one seems to have gotten hurt. Of course, darling. You were fantastic. Let's celebrate with dinner. You pick the place. I I'm not sure. Diego, what do you think? <laughs> Doesn't matter what he thinks. You're the hero today, Maya. You deserve to be spoiled and celebrated. Wow. Thanks, Mom. You know, I have something important I want to share with both of you guys. What is it, Diego? I won first place at the... Diego, don't try to steal the spotlight from your sister. It's her night, not yours. Celestia! Celestia! You're my favorite superhero ever! Can I get a selfie, please, please? Uh, sure. Hey, loser! Get out of the frame, please! Wow, thank you so much, Celestia. This is awesome! Look, what I was trying to say was... Enough, Diego. Let's go. Maya, guess what? The mayor is giving you an award. Again! Wait, what were you gonna say? You know what, Maya? It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm just gonna go home. Aren't you gonna join us for dinner? Nope. Enjoy your spotlight, Celestia. Hey, are you doing okay? If I'm being honest, no, I'm not. It's mom. She loves you more than me and it's obvious. That's not true. Yeah, it is. You're the superhero, just like dad was. You make him and mom proud and I'm just here. I'm just like a leftover. Dad was a scientist too, remember? You're following into his footsteps. I know, I just, I don't know. I wish I was a hero like you guys. Maybe then mom would notice me and, and appreciate what I do. I just miss dad so much. And I miss him too but I know he would be so proud of you. Yeah, maybe. I hope so, at least. What are you working on anyway? It's my science project. It's, it's the thing that I won first place at the fair for, but I, I don't know, I think I can make better. That's amazing. Uh, hold on a second. Ugh, there's a superhero emergency. I have to go. Duty calls. Diego, hurry up! We're gonna be late for your sister's big ceremony! Oh no, I totally forgot! Uh, sorry! What on earth are you doing? Let's go! Look, I was working on something important, okay? Calm down! If we miss Celestia's ceremony because of you, you're grounded! Look, I just lost track of time on my project, okay? Why is that not important to you at all, too? Supporting your sister is more important than some stupid science fair project. She's a superhero! And now, you're not even trying to hide the fact that you care about her more than me. Do you even know how that makes me feel? That's 
different, Diego. What Maya does is very important. I just want you to be proud of me, Mom. That's all I ever wanted. I'd be proud of you if you were more responsible. Look, we didn't miss a thing. I'd like to give this outstanding citizen award to our local superhero, Celestia! Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. I'm honored. Yay, Celestia! Woo! She's just like your father, isn't she? Yep, just like him. Thanks for the extra hard drive, dude. Yeah, don't mention it. What'd you need it for anyways? I need it to update my AI's program. This is gonna be big, man. Is this actually going to work? It better. Let's see. Update complete. Hello, my name is Athena 2.0. Sweet, it actually worked. You named your AI Athena? Yeah, dude, goddess of wisdom. Huh? Oh, look, dude, you gotta read more history books, all right? Diego, stop what you're doing right now. I have a project for you. Hello, Jesse. Hi, Miss Molina. Can it wait, mom? I need a run some tests on Athena. What? That's not important. I want all this stuff gone. What? Why? I'm turning this into a special superhero workout space for your sister. But this is dad's lab and, and all of this stuff. He said that I could have it. This is mine. Oh, please. Your father would understand. You know what, mom? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not moving. Oh, really? Okay, then. Wait, what are you doing? Stop. No. I want all this junk cleared out in an hour. Get moving. Can't believe she would do this. I was so close to finishing my project and now everything is ruined. Oh, it's okay, man. Let's just move the rest of your stuff to my place. We can work on it there. Okay, here we go. New update complete. My name is Athena 3.0. How may I assist you today, Diego? Yes, it worked. This is incredible, dude. You made your own AI. Yes, I am incredible. Do you require assistance today? Uh, yeah. Can you order us a large pepperoni pizza, please? Of course. Ordering large pepperoni pizza now. Dude, hold on. You didn't just make this to order pizza, did you? No, what? No, I'm just hungry. Look, I have something much bigger planned for it. I promise. Mom, I'm sick of doing press interviews. I've been doing them all day. Well, honey, that's what happens when you're a famous superhero. Hey, Maya, do you have time to hang out with me today? Of course. I feel like I haven't seen you in weeks. Yeah, because you haven't. Plus, I have something I want to show you. Well, sorry, Diego. Maya can't hang out with you. What? Why not? Yeah, why not? You are very, very busy, sweetie. You're a real superhero after all. You don't have time to just hang out. Can't that stuff wait? No, Diego, it can't. And I'm sick of you distracting Maya. I'm just trying to show her something that I made for her, okay? You made something for me? Enough. Maya, you don't need to waste your time with Diego's stupid little projects. We need to stitch up your costume. Ugh, sorry, Diego. Maybe later? Uh, he, yeah, sure. I just need to get out of this house. I'm sick and tired of all of this. Mom just keeps pushing me aside for Maya. I, I don't know. Ever since Dad died, that's all she cares about. It's like I don't even exist anymore. You know, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, wow. Look, Dad's favorite snack. I'll get this. For him. Hey, you creepy loser. Put your scrawny little hands up and give me all the money. Hey, I curl like 25 pounds, okay? My arms aren't scrawny. <laughs> ah, no. That'll teach you. Oh, no. Quimby. Hey, stop. Excuse me. Who do you think you are? I'm Diego. Oh, my gosh. Who cares? You can't just rob Quimby like that, okay? I'm Frostbite. I can do whatever I want, and I'll freeze you, just like that creep inside. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to leave my brother alone. Oh, this is your brother, huh? <laughs> ah! Diego, no! Ugh, am I in the hospital? Diego! Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, you too, sis. Wait, what happened to me? Frostbite attacked you, so I fought her off, but she escaped. You're right. Frostbite escaped because of you. What the heck, Mom? That's not my fault. Of course it is. You got in the way and distracted your sister. If you hadn't been at that 
that gas station, Maya wouldn't have lost your first fight. Look, I wasn't there on purpose, okay? And I was knocked out. I don't care. Now, a new villain is still out on the loose, and Maya looks weak because of you. No, it wasn't his fault. It was mine. I've been so stressed out lately, and Frostbite is a powerful supervillain. She got the better of me. How could she get the better of you, honey? You're the best. No, I'm not. You know what, Mom? I think you're putting way too much pressure on her. No, your sister is just upset that you made her lose. Way to go, Diego. I am so disappointed in you. Wait, what's this? An email from Stark Industries? Oh my gosh. Hey, Mom, Maya, I have huge news. Not now, Diego. Your sister is training. No, this is important. Look, I just got an email. I'm going to present my project to Tony Stark. The Tony Stark? Iron Man? Yeah, yeah, him. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yeah, and look, I want you guys both to come with me, okay? It's a lot of pressure. It's Tuesday morning. Well, Maya and I will be busy, so we can't go. We have something else planned. Wait, what? What do you mean? Mom, it's Tony Stark. But no, let me guess. Maya's more important than me, right? Stop this, Diego. No, I'm not gonna stop. I want you guys both there. You're my mother for crying out loud. And this is important to me. You know what? I can't stand your attitude. You are grounded. No presentation for you. No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Watch me. This is so stupid. She took my keys and she won't even let me leave my room. Hey, listen, I know you're upset. Yeah, I I'm upset, Maya. I can't believe mom won't even just take me to one presentation. She'll do anything for you, literally anything. But she doesn't support me at all. You know, if dad were here, I know that he would make at least just the smallest amount of time for me. You're right. We're not going to let her ruin this for you. Thanks, but I don't think I'm going to be able to change her mind. Oh, no, we won't. But luckily, we don't have to. What do you mean? I'm a superhero. Remember, I can fly. You're going to help me? Of course I will. You're not missing the meeting with the Tony Stark. Okay, let's hurry up before mom wakes up. Hold on tight. Oh, my gosh. This is really Tony Stark's office? Okay, I can't believe this is happening. Believe it, kid. You're here early. Huh. Very nice. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Stark. Of course it is. By the way, I knew your father. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. He was a great man, an even better superhero. Yeah, he was. So, rumor has it you made yourself your own custom AI, huh? And you're only in high school? Yes, sir. I'm a senior right now, but I'm going to be graduating soon. Good. Let me see your work. Hello, my name is Athena 3.0. How may I assist you, Mr. Stark? Athena, huh? Catchy name. I like it. Yes, sir. What do you think? Well, this looks very, very impressive. I mean, it's a little childish, but I'll look over the code. Maybe give you some notes. Pretty good job, Diego. Wow, thank you, sir. Before you go, tell me, what is this AI really for? Well, it's kind of a long story. Oh, man, that was incredible. Tony Stark is going to look over my work? Wait. Where's Maya? She said she can fly me home. <laughs> oh no. Wow, you're strong. Much stronger than I expected. You haven't seen anything yet. Ah! Well, it seems like you're still not strong enough to stop me. <laughs> oh no, Maya, Maya, are you okay? Ugh, no, I'm not. Don't worry, you'll stop her next time. I don't know, Diego. I've never lost a fight before, and she's beaten me twice. Stop worrying about that right now, okay? Let's just get you out of here. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? I'm fine. I have super healing, remember? Oh, must be nice. Whatever you do, don't tell mom. Don't tell mom what? Oh, no. That you snuck out while you were grounded? It was my idea, mom. Not now, young lady. I will get to you in a minute. You have disobeyed my rules for the last time, Diego. And you're grounded for a whole month. I hope it was worth it. You know what, Mom? It was. And you. I heard on the news Frostbite won in a fight against you. Again? She came out of nowhere. I had tried my best. But if you stayed home and trained, instead of sneaking your brother around, you would have won. Diego is ruining your superhero reputation now. I've had enough of this. So have I. Because of you, Diego, Frostbite is out causing chaos again, and your sister can't stop her. This is all your fault. Mom! I can't even look at you right now. Just go! You know what? Gladly. 
Let's hear it for the- Whoa, dude, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, man. Look, my mom just kicked me out. I hope it's okay that I came here. Yeah, of course. I was actually just coming by to run some tests on Athena. You know, that's a good idea. Tony Stark is already sending me some notes, and we should really make some changes. I still can't get over it. You're working with Tony Stark! Yeah, I know, I know, but look, I need to focus, okay? And we need to finish Athena, and fast. Okay, but... What's the rush? I mean, an AI is not really going to be going anywhere. Look, Maya is having a hard time with this villain Frostbite, and I think Athena can help. I made her specifically to help my sister fight supervillains. Well, how? If I can make this work, then Athena can find a random low point in temperature anywhere nearby, and that's where Frostbite is going to be. Dude, you're a genius. This is totally going to help your sister out. I hope so. Now, come on. Let's work on this thing. Hurry up, Diego. We need to get Maya's favorite snacks. She's almost out. Of course we do. What would happen if Maya didn't get her snacks? Enough with the attitude, young man. Now go get some fruit for Maya. Okay, Mom, are we done? No, of course not. We need to pick up your sister's soup from the cleaners. Can't you do this on your own? Why? Do you have something more important to do than help your sister? What I'm doing is important, and it could help her a lot, you know? I just need to work on it and finish it. Well, the answer is no. Plus, you need to help get ready for Maya's big award ceremony tonight. Didn't she just get an award? The mayor is giving her the key to the city this time. This is a very big deal, and you have to be there. Mom, don't you see how unfair all of this is? You only care about her and what she's doing. I need to dedicate more of my time to my work, okay? And not just her events. We are not having an argument in the grocery store. If you love your sister, you will be there tonight. So just drop it. Got it? Whatever. I got it. Now, sweetheart, don't be nervous, okay? I won't be. Good. Now, I'm going to talk to the mayor. I think he needs to introduce you as the stellar Celestia. It's got more pizzazz. There sure are a lot of people here. You're going to do great, sis. Don't even worry about it. Look, you've done this before. You have nothing to worry about. That's not what I'm worried about. Wait, then... Why are you worried? Attention, you stupid citizens. Celestia is a loser, and I should get the key to the city, not hers. Now bow down to me and give me all your money. Wow, this is a low, even for you, Frostbite. Oh, girl, you have no idea. This is over for you now. There's a new superhero in town, and it's me. Uh, get back here. Oh my gosh. Is Maya okay? I don't know. I think so. Oh no, this is terrible. So worried about your sister. I am too. Come on, come on. I need this to work. Hello, Diego. Do you need help with anything? Yes, Athena. Find the supervillain Frostbite. Where is she? I'm sorry. I'm unable to comply with your request. Come on. Why not? Beginning shutdown sequence. No, 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 no. Uh, this has to work. Why isn't it working? Because you don't have me. That's why. Oh, is this your lab? Man, we need to get you better upgrades, kid. This is sad. Wait, Mr. Stark, how did you find me? Um, I'm Iron Man, obviously. Having some problems with Athena, huh? Yeah, she keeps shutting down, and I need this to work for my sister. Well, here are the rest of my notes. Just make these changes, and she should work just fine. She might even work better than my AI, Karen. You named your AI Karen? What? It's a good name. You know what? Whatever. Just take this. Uh, yeah, right. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, kid. Your dad would be so proud of you. I just know it. Good luck with everything. Yeah, he will be. One. Once I get this thing to work. Maya, Maya, where are you? What is wrong with you? Why are you screaming? I'm looking for Maya, where is she? It's your father's birthday today. Where do you think she is? Oh, I totally forgot. That's today? Unbelievable. I miss you so much, dad. Being a superhero, it's so tough. Everybody depends on me and I don't think I have what it takes. I just wish I could make you proud. I'm really sorry and happy birthday. You have what it takes, Maya. And I know that dad is so proud of you. I don't think so, Diego. I still can't find Frostbite, but she's out there planning something big. I think I have something that can help. Diego, I love you, but I need to focus on my own stuff, not your science project. Trust me. You're gonna want to see this. Come with me. Okay, what is all this about? Hold on. Mom needs to see this too. Mom, get in here, quick! 
What is it now, Diego? I'm very busy booking events for your sister. Well, I finally finished my project for Maya, and it works. It really works. Hello, my name is Athena 3.0. How can I help you today, Maya? She's an AI to help you fight crime. Are you serious? Absolutely. Look, uh, Athena, is there any crime happening nearby? There is a man jaywalking on Center Street, and there is a bank robbery taking place downtown. See? She can help you fight crime and find frostbite. I can put her in your suit and on your phone. You just couldn't let your sister have one thing, could you? What? What do you mean? This isn't going to help her. It's going to make her look incapable of fighting crime on her own. You just wanted to make her look stupid. That's not what this is about at all. I don't have time for this. You both are being super annoying. I need to go check on that bank robbery. Look what you did. What I did? And on your father's birthday, he would be disgusted with you. I know I am. Dad would be proud of me because you know what? He loved me unlike you. You know what? I want you out of this house for good. Pack your things and go stay with your friend. I will, because I'm better off alone than with a mom that doesn't even love her own son. Just remember that I did this to help Maya. You did this for your own ego. Now get out. Thanks for letting me move in with you guys, Jesse. Of course, dude. I wasn't going to let you live on the streets. I still can't believe your mom flipped out on you like that. I can. Well, never mind about all that stuff can stay here as long as you want. Plus, this is actually going to be good for us. We can hang out and we can work on Athena, you know, if anything comes up. Yeah, maybe. It didn't seem like Maya cared much anyway. Maybe we should just stop. No way, dude. We can't stop now. We got an endorsement from Tony Stark. Are you kidding? Look, I'll go get us some food and then we can get right back to it. Diego, your AI thing? It really worked. There really was a robbery downtown. That's great. I told you she would help. Can you ask her if she can track Frostbite? Sure. Hello, Diego. Athena, can you track Frostbite for me? Of course I can. Scanning. I located a severe dip in temperature at the docks on the west side of the city. Did you hear that, Maya? She's at the docks. Loud and clear. I'll go check it out. Hold on. I'm going to transfer her to your suit now. Thanks, Diego. And I'm sorry I... Don't mention it. Now, go and stop Frostbite. Athena, is this the place? Yes, Miss Maya, this is the place. Although, the severe drop in temperature seems to be disappearing. Where is it exactly? In the warehouse straight ahead. Second floor to the left. Wow, thanks! Man, this Athena thing is really cool. Hmm, you're not the psychopath I'm looking for. What the heck? How did you even find me here? My new friend helped me. Well, you're too late. Frostbite's gone. And I'm out of here. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Well done, miss. Thanks, girl. She's not going to let me back in, Maya, and I don't even want to be back. She will once we convince her. You can try, but I'm just sick of her and how she treats me, okay? Well, no matter what, we're still family. We should get along. Yeah, I guess I agree. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Maya, honey, the chief of police just called. You stopped a supervillain last night? I'm thrilled that you're back on top of your game. Now, what is Diego doing here? I want you to apologize to Diego, Mom, and let him move back in. Apologize? Why? Because my AI helped Maya stop that villain last night. You just didn't think that I could do it. You're right. I didn't think you would stoop so low as to steal the spotlight from your sister. See, Maya? I told you. She doesn't care, and I just want her out of my life. Hey, Maya. What's up? Can you meet me at Town Hall? Town Hall? Why? Yes, and it's serious. Please. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. Maya, what is this all about? If mom won't celebrate your accomplishments, I know a lot of people that will. Everyone, this is my little brother Diego. He is an absolute genius, just like our father. And he made this AI program that will help me fight crime and keep this city safe. Let's give it up for Diego. Well done, Diego. Yes, yes, well done. Thank you, Mayor, and, and thank you, Maya. Well, it looks like our city now has two heroes to keep it safe. 
Whoa, no way. Man, this is sick. Ah! What the? Yeah, this is the place, all right. Who are you? I'm Frostbite, and this is my friend, Turbine. Oh my gosh, wait. I know who you are. Of course you do. Now you're going to show me where that stupid AI mainframe is. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! Oh! Turbine, take this loser back to our base. I'll find the mainframe. This is it? <laughs> How pathetic. Looks like your new fancy tech needs an update, Diego. <laughs> Something's not right. Jesse didn't respond to any of my texts. What could he be doing? Oh my gosh! Jesse! Jesse, are you here? Diego, are you okay? I'm fine, but look, Jesse, he's gone. Someone attacked his house. We have another problem. Athena won't respond. It's like she's broken or something. Athena, she's gone too. This has to be Frostbite's work. Can you fix her? We can use it to find Jesse. I need a computer to fix it. A big one. There's only one computer that I can think of that can handle running an AI like Athena. Where is it, Diego? We need to move fast. Maya, honey, you're finally home. Sorry, Mom. It's just me. What are you doing here? I'm just getting one of Dad's old computers, and I'll be out of here in a minute, all right? Just don't even worry about it. Hey, that's your father's favorite laptop. Put that back. Not now, Mom. You are not going anywhere. Look, I don't have time for this, okay? Where is your sister, huh? She's out looking for Frostbite. She kidnapped Jesse. Oh, of course. First you try to steal your sister's spotlight because you're jealous, and now you've got your friend kidnapped? When are you going to stop all of this? My friend's life is in danger right now, and you want to start more drama? I'm doing something good here, Mom. But you can't see that because ever since Dad died, all you've cared about is Maya. You act like I'm not even your own son. You don't care about me at all. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Everyone sees it, even Maya. So you can either wake up and start acting like an actual mother, or just get out of my way and stay out of my life. <gasps> Fine. Unbelievable. These supervillains really aren't the brightest. Jesse might just be here. Dude, please let me out of here. And what, dude? Disobey Frostbite? Nope, not happening. My best friend's sister is going to come for me. Just wait. You know who she is. Celestia. And she's going to save me. I'm shivering. Look at me. I'm shivering. Yeah, you should be. Ah! Whoa. Man, that is so cool. Thanks for saving Jesse, Maya. Of course. Did you get Dad's computer? I did, but I need somewhere safe to work on Athena. Yeah, like we need a secret base or something. Yeah, that would be perfect. But where can we find a secret base? Well... What the heck? Is this for real? How did you even make this? I didn't. This is Dad's old base. Whoa, this is sick. This was Dad's? Why didn't I know about it? Yeah, Dad told me before he died to keep it a secret from everyone but you. I guess Jesse knowing can't be helped. Everyone but me? But why? I mean, look at me. There's nothing special about me. That's not true. Dad said to tell you when you were ready. He knew I was going to need your help one day. He believed in you, Diego, and so do I. Wow, thank you. Now, let's fix Athena and stop Frostbite. Okay, I just need to reinitialize the Matrix and boom. Oh, glad to have you back, Athena. It feels good to be back, but I have some bad news. What is it? I've located Frostbite's current position, and you're not going to like it. Where is she? She's at your house with your mom. Put me down, you overgrown icicle! Shut up, old lady. I'm just getting started. Frostbite, stop! Put my mom down, you creep! Sure. Mom! I'll end you. And your entire family, now that you're all together? No, you won't. You think you're going to stop me? You're not even a hero. You're nothing. Why, I am a hero! Oh my gosh, you did it! Athena, call the police, now. Of course, sir. And thank you for finding Frostbite. Diego's project did this? That is my programming, to help. You're both my heroes. I'm so proud of both of you! Oh man, what a stressful night. Being a doctor is not easy. 
I'm gonna stop you, Tony! Oh, I'm supposed to be scared? Give me your best shot! Yeah, that's what I thought. The Avenger is donezo! This is our city now! Oh no! Oh my gosh, it's the Avenger! Come on, stay with me. I'm gonna save you. This is Dr. Keith, I need backup now! Hurry! Nurse, I need fluids in the crash cart. Stad! Oh my gosh, is that? Yes, you can't tell anyone that he's here. Uh, okay, Dr. Keith, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. All right, well, there's nothing. Clear! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, he made it, yes! Thank goodness. Uh, okay, I'll leave you to it. I gotta grab a few things. What? I... I need to get out of here. Yeah, I don't think so. You've got a broken leg and you're lucky to be alive. You're not going anywhere. Ugh, ugh. You saved me. For now, but we can't let anyone know you're here. Criminals are gonna come after you. I've gotta find a safe place to take care of you. I, ugh, ugh, I feel really sick. Keith, Dr. Keith. Oh no, I'll deal with this. You're gonna be okay, don't worry. Ah, uh, Dr. Mean Men, how's it going? I was just, uh... Shut up! You had that Avenger in there, and you didn't tell me?! The Avenger? Th the superhero? <laughs> no, that's... that's crazy. We don't... Oh, we need to tell the world that we have him here. This would be great for business! He isn't a business opportunity, sir. He's a person who needs help. So he is here! Ha! I knew it! Where is he? I'm not telling you. Yes, you are! Or else you'll be fired! Now, where is he? I, uh... I moved him to the basement. Had to keep him out of sight. <laughs> Great! I'll prepare a press release. I'm going to be so rich! Oh, great. Oh, there's no more time now. All right, man. We need to get you out of here now. What? Uh, where are you taking me? Don't worry. I've got a friend who owes me a favor. He'll help us. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate the help. Thank you for doing this. Well, it's my job. I'm a doctor. Ugh, ugh, stupid leg. Here, use these. <sighs> Thanks. This new criminal boss, Tony, he's the hardest person I have ever fought against. Tony? I uh, never heard of him. Oh, you will soon enough. I feel like I would have let the town down if I had died, but ugh, you saved me, uh, and I really appreciate it. Well, I'm glad I was there to help. The town needs a hero, right? Oh, great. Emergency back at the hospital. I've got to go. Don't worry. I should be going soon. No, you need to stay here and rest. I'll go and I'll be back later. You know, you're taking a real big risk by helping me. Yeah, well, it's the right thing to do. Now go rest. Those are doctor's orders. All right, be safe. Chet! <laughs> this guy, this is the one you want to talk to. Dr. Keith, Chet Flenderson, Action 5 News. Can you tell us how you saved the Avenger? I, uh, I don't have any comment on that. This doctor definitely treated the Avenger, and he is hiding somewhere. I know it. Come on, Dr. Keith. I'm an extremely trustworthy and handsome news anchor. Now, why won't you tell the world where he is? Because he has a lot of enemies. His identity has to be a secret. He's hurt and needs rest. So what? Who is this guy? Yeah, who is the Avenger? And where are you hiding him? The town needs answers. I'm sorry. I don't have to answer anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Oh my gosh, he's gonna walk away like a big baby. Unbelievable! Stop right there! I know you lied to me, and I'm not gonna let you ruin this moment for me or the hospital. I don't care. This is wrong. If people find out where the Avenger is, they're gonna come after him. Oh, good! Then we could treat them too, and make even more money! You're terrible! <laughs> I'm incredible! And you're an imbecile! You better get on board with this, or you're fired! You know what? Fine. Fire your best doctor then. I don't care! Avenger? Hey, Avenger, are you here? Huh, that's weird. What the heck is going on? Guy had a broken leg, he couldn't have gone very far. Avenger, dude, where are you? Are you here? No, but I'm here. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what are you doing in my house? Shut up! Where is he? I don't know what you're talking about. You think I'm stupid? You were just shouting his name. Now, where is the Avenger? Well, obviously he's not here if I was looking for him. Yo, you're a smart one, huh? The boss knows you're hiding him. And you're a liar! 
I was just treating him for his injuries, that's all. I saved him. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's a mistake you're gonna regret making. You're coming with me! Ugh, let me out of here, please! Shut up until the boss gets here. Man, your voice is annoying. So where is he? Dr. Keith? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me where the Avenger is. I don't know. He was at my house with a broken leg, and then I came back, and your goon was there. I swear, that's all I know. You're a liar! Do you even know who I am? No. I'm Tony, the new boss of this entire town. You better listen to me when I talk. Well, I've told you the truth. I don't know where he is. Come walk with me. Ugh, fine. Helping the Avenger. That wasn't a good move. I'm not going to tolerate this kind of behavior. You understand? I'm a doctor. It's my duty to help anyone that's in need. Well then, maybe you should find a way to save yourself from the sharks. What? <laughs> good luck, loser. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, I can't get back up. Well, and there are definitely sharks in here. I've got no choice. I gotta swim. Oh, well, I can't go home. There might be more of Tony's goons waiting for me. I guess I better stay here where it's safe. Maybe I can hide in my office for a little while. Dr. Meanman's probably not around. What the heck? Hey, how did you get out of my house? I knew it wasn't safe. I couldn't fight off anyone with my leg like this, and I figured you'd be unsafe after helping me. Yeah, well, you were right. Tony and his gang found me. He threw me in shark-infested waters. Sounds like Tony. I'm really sorry, Keith. I promise, I'll make this right. <coughs> oh, there's something really wrong with me, isn't there? We've got to get you somewhere safe. Somewhere where I can run some tests. Do you have anywhere we can go? I do, but we'll need a car. Well, lucky for you, I've got one. Just hang tight. Whoa, this is your secret base? Yes. And make sure you keep it a secret, okay? You're gonna be okay. I can help you here. I've gotta say, I'm impressed with what you've made here, too. This is incredible. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I had no choice. Got hurt before I had to take care of myself. I had to be hidden. Right. Well, we need to run some blood work. But it seems like you just need rest and some medication to fight off an infection. Oh, great. I don't have any medication here, though. Oh, don't worry. I can go back and get it from the hospital. I've got to be quick, though. I don't want this to get worse. What if someone finds out? They won't, and I'll make sure I'm not followed. I'll be back soon. Just lay here and rest, and I mean it this time. Right, okay. Just rest. All right, just gotta act casual, Keith. No big deal. Make sure no one suspects a thing. Huh, the heck is going on here? Ho 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 ho! Now that's a lot of money! Yeah, pleasure doing business with you, Dr. Meanman. <laughs> right back at you. Keith! How long have you been standing there? Oh, I just got here. Why? Uh, uh no reason. Uh, you better find that Avenger. And you better start doing right by this hospital. I am doing what's right, Dr. Meanman. <sighs> you don't want to mess with me, Keith. I run this place, and I can ruin your life if I wanted to. Now, get me that superhero, or else! <sighs> Woo! How did I do? Pretty good. You beat your record time. I'd say you're healed about 100% now. Ah, oh, yes! Thank you for saving my life, Keith. I really owe you. I'm just doing my job. As a doctor, I get to help people. That's the best reward I could ever ask for. You know, the city has been really bad since I've been hurt. I need to get back out there. Uh, make it safe again. I know you will, and I know the city definitely needs you. Uh, how have things been for you at work? So far, everything's been okay. I've been keeping an eye on Dr. Meanman. I don't think he suspects a thing, but I haven't seen Tony since the last time. Well, that's good. Keep it that way. Keep him in the dark for as long as you can. I'm gonna try. I think it's safe for you to return to your house, too, if you want. I'll keep an eye out for you, make sure you're safe. It would be nice to get back to my normal life. You know, I really appreciate it. Plus, it feels kind of cool a superhero is watching out for me. Uh, feels good to be home. This is the first time I've been back since they took me. I feel a little better knowing the Avengers on my side, that's for sure. What the? My house! What did they do to it? It's completely destroyed! Like, 
Why? And they robbed me too? They took everything from me. Oh no, they even stole the ring my mom left me when she died. Oh, mom, I'm so sorry. But I'm still happy that I did the right thing. I did something good for the city and for the Avenger. Huh, it's weird they didn't take the TV though. Might as well put something on while I start cleaning up this mess. That's right, folks, the Avenger is back. He stopped a bank robbery tonight and it was awesome. Huh, but you look at that. Many people are still wondering where he went after disappearing from the hospital. And some residents are upset about not knowing who he is. We'll have more on this later tonight. But for now, let's take a tour of my brand new mansion. Well, looks like it all worked out. I'm really happy I did the right thing. He's gonna put a stop to Tony. I just know it. Huh, this is weird. What's going on? Dr. Keith, who is the Avenger? Did you really save his life or what? Do you think the Avenger would marry my mom? What? Uh, sorry guys, no comment. So, where's your friend, Dr. Keith? I thought he escaped and you never saw him again. I don't know what you're talking about. I told you. I don't know who the Avenger is. Would you just give it up? <laughs> you're a liar. A big, fat, stupid liar. You could have gotten this hospital to make millions. You could have been the one to expose who the Avenger really is. What's wrong with you? That's not why we're doctors. If you really cared about him, you wouldn't want people to know who he is. Why? Because I know what you're up to, man. Excuse me, I don't know what you're talking about. You want to make money off of knowing who he is because you have someone looking for him. I'm not stupid, Dr. Mean Man. <laughs> you are stupid and you don't know what you're talking about. That's it. I've been waiting to say this for a long time, Keith. You are fired. Get out. Fine. I don't need this anyways. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, man, we have a big problem. Huge. Honestly, forget that guy. He is the worst boss imaginable. And I can find a new job. Huh, that's weird. Ah, what the heck? Oh, no. <laughs> we got him now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, ah, ow. <laughs> Time to say goodnight, doctor. Back off, loser! Oh no, it's him! Uh, I'm out of here! Forget this! Ugh, thank you. Thank you for saving me this time. You aren't safe here. We've gotta go, now! I really made Dr. Mean Min mad. I bet he tipped off Tony and his gang. <sighs> Probably. I think Tony was paying him to figure out my identity. Now that he's got nothing to offer, it could be bad for him too. They're going to try everything to find me and find out who I am. And now that you're back, everyone knows I helped you heal. Exactly. So there are a lot of people mad at you as well. We can't trust anyone right now. So what should I do? I'm broke because my house was robbed, and now I've lost my job. I don't know. Uh, maybe you should get out of town for a bit. Maybe? But where? As far away as you can. This criminal gang is going to stop at nothing. Wait a minute. What? What is it? Something is wrong. We need to go. Now! Oh no, my home! Well, I'd say this is a pretty clear message from Tony, wouldn't you? I'd say so. This is getting worse by the second. I bought this house before I even started med school. I have nothing now. Hey, listen, it always gets worse before it gets better. I'm sorry I didn't pick up on this fast enough. It's okay, it's not your fault. If you didn't help me, none of this would be happening to you. Well, I don't regret anything. I know you're the only chance this world has at safety. It's too dangerous for you to be here right now, Keith. And I need to make a big move against this criminal gang to let them know they can't win. So what am I supposed to do? Hide at your secret base? No, they probably have spies. They could be following you anywhere, but there's one person in the world I trust that can hide you. What the heck am I doing out here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just have to trust the Avenger, I guess. I wonder who I'm supposed to be meeting here anyways. Howdy, y'all. I'm Rufus. Oh, hello. Are you yo new frams? Yes. Come on in, y'all. Oh, thank you, Rufus. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, now this be your little new hiding spots, okay? And I got to say, thank you for saving my frams. The Avengers is a nice man's, y'all. Yeah, of course. I'm always happy to help people. That's why I became a doctor. 
Oh my goodness, I was a doctums once. Really? Yes, but I wasn't very good, y'all. I wish more peepums would help more superheroes, though. They out here helping others, saving lives, doing their things, but no one ever helps them. What's up with that? You know, you're right. I know there are so many heroes out there that could have made it if they just had some help, but they needed to protect their identities. I got to protect my identities too, y'all. I'm some big surnumerums, but maybe there's a way you can help more of them superheroes. I mean, you is a doctor, right? Honestly, Rufus, I think you're right. I am? That don't happen a lot, y'all. I might have an idea, but first, we need to get this Dr. Mean Man situation under control. Ooh-wee, yes we do. I don't like mean ma'ams, y'all. Yes, you do that, y'all. And if you need my help, all you need to do is give me a guacamole burritos and I can do anything you want, y'all, okay? I'm gonna go wild. Oh, thanks, Rufus. Now, this is what I'm thinking. Tony, Tony! Hey, Bert, I thought I told you to only call me boss. I'm the boss around here. All right, uh, sorry, uh, boss, but, uh, I saw the Avenger. Oh, yeah? So what? I got another problem on my hands. Dr. Meeman fired that loser, Keith, so now he knows we're working together. You, uh, you look really calm right now, boss. You okay? You should be mad. Oh, yeah. I'm having a little tea party over here. I'm furious! I can't believe you failed at bringing Keith in. Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I thought it was smarter to leave once the Avenger showed up. I didn't want to get punched in the face and have a broken leg or something. What, you think he's some kind of superhero? He's just a man! I took him down once, I can take him again! Next time I'll try harder! I promise! We need to get Dr. Keith. We need him to tell us who the Avenger is. Then we attack his family! We attack everyone he's ever loved until this city is ours! I'll find Dr. Keith, boss. I promise you! I promise! Oh yeah? So why are you waiting around here, huh? Get out of here and find him! Your face disgusts me! Wow, it's actually really beautiful out here. Yes, that's right. But there may be no fish in this lake, y'all. I don't like fish. What? Why not? They eyes on both sides of their heads, y'all. Okay, and that's wild, y'all. And I don't trust them for one minute. Well, I trust you, Rufus. I know that's right. This has been really nice. And I've had a lot of time to think about my future and what my real purpose as a doctor is. And what is your purpose, y'all? Well, you've got me thinking about heroes. What if we could get enough security to open up a hospital just for them? They'd never have to reveal their identity, and we could help them recover. They'd finally get the medical help they need. Oh, ma, goodness, that would be a great idea, y'all. Okay, I love that ideas, yes. But I'm also thinkums, bad guys would not like that at all, y'all. I mean, they get pretty mad. I know, but there has to be a way. Maybe we could do it in secret or something. Keep what a secret? Oh my goodness, it's my friends, y'all. Hi, Avengers, ma'ams. You know I'm Rufus, y'all, right? <laughs> yes, I know who you are, Rufus. That's right, yes. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Any luck with Tony and his gang? I've made some progress. I think this could be good. Keith, come with me. All right. Thank you, Rufus. Thanks again. Yeah, thanks, Rufus. You've been a huge friend. Okay, bye, y'all. Just leave me here alone. That farms. Ugh, I can't believe it's come to this! Yeah, neither can I. Talk, mean men. I've lost everything to that criminal gang. They took the hospital's money and mine! The sick still suffer, but even worse, I'll be poor! Of course, that's all you care about. Ugh. You caused all this! Tony's after you, and after when he finds you, you're done. You need me, Keith! What about the hospital? Huh, <laughs> someone needs to take it over, or it's the streets for the sick! Oh, I have an idea that would work. Trust me. Mean Man, this is all on you. Your selfishness, your greed. You caused all of this, and this is all your fault. <laughs> I will never hand the hospital over to you. You'll probably just care about the patients and throw charity events and other stupid stuff like that. I won't allow it. You don't have a choice. Do the right thing for once. Work with us, help stop the gang, and it might save you some trouble. Ugh, fine! You win. The hospital is yours. I knew you'd come around eventually. So, what should we do with him? Eh, just leave him here. Ask some more questions for this punk. What? Let me go! I'm a doctor! Yeah, not for long. So, what do you have up your sleeve? Well, I've got a great plan for this hospital. But I want to keep it a surprise for you. You'll see. You know, this is really dangerous. What you're doing here? Maybe, 
But honestly, I don't care. I want to help people. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Admirable. But how are we going to make this work? Well, I made it look like Rufus is actually running the hospital. So nothing can get traced back to me. He said he doesn't mind. Something about always fighting bad guys? <laughs> yeah, you think I'm a superhero? You should see Rufus. So what are we going to do down here? Well, you're looking at the newest superhero hospital. <laughs> wow. That's actually a great idea. Once we take down the gang and boost security, this is gonna be a sanctuary, a place for heroes to heal and be safe without fear of exposure. Oh man, this is perfect. But right now, we need to focus on getting Tony off your back. We squeezed some good intel out of Dr. Meanman. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, I figured he'd talk eventually. And I wanna help this hospital. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. I'll spread the word to other heroes. Let them know that this is a safe place if they're in trouble. Thank you, Keith. You don't know what this means to us heroes. I should be thanking you. Thanking you for being such a good friend. Now, I think it's time I open this hospital. I'm really excited about what's gonna happen next. This superhero hospital idea could really work. It could really change lives. I'll walk from here. I need to clear my head. Oh, wait. You again? Yeah, me again. And you gotta come with me. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. Just get in the van. No more talking. I'm not going anywhere with you. Ah! Ow! What the heck, dude? Oh, shut up, you big baby. There's no hero to save you this time. <laughs> Hope you're comfy, Doc. I'm not. <laughs> Good, because I don't really care. Tony's going to love this. Why don't you understand? I don't know who the Avenger is. You're keeping me from helping people. I want no part of this. Whatever, you loser. People are trash, and you're just a pawn. What the... Oh! Wow, this guy doesn't take a hint, does he? Thank you. You saved me yet again. I'm just doing my job. And catching one of Tony's guys, this will make him weaker. Yeah, this is good. Maybe this guy will give us some more intel, too. <laughs> oh, one sec. Oh, you need to get down to the hospital. Right now. Oh, okay, then. I'll be right there. Spider-Man? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Well, I kind of fell off a building. Thanks to Green Goblin. I swear I wasn't texting and swinging, but I can't move my hand. Think you can help? Yeah, let's have a look. Thanks, Doc. <sighs> Ow! Hey! Hmm. Well, it might be broken. I'll have to run a couple tests. But don't worry, you're in good hands. Yeah, so says the Avenger. Uh, you sure this place is safe? This hospital is top secret. You won't find better care or secrecy here. Wow, thanks. You know, this place is amazing. Iron Man's even talking about beefing up security for you guys. Custom tech and everything. Wow, that's incredible news. Thank you, Spider-Man. No, thank you for helping us heroes. Doesn't happen very often. Well, I'll make sure we get those tests running and those x-rays started for you right away. We'll have you swinging around here in no time. Hey, those quibs are my thing. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. My team is falling apart. First Dr. Meanman, then that backstabber turned on me. Now Bert, useless, stupid Bert, got himself caught. Everyone's useless. They're nothing against the Avenger, but I won't lose. Not this city. It's gonna be mine. Everyone's gonna be scared of me. I've got the money, the brains, and the muscle. I'll take the city myself. And no stupid little superhero is gonna stand in my way. It's time to make my next move. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm the number one news show in Roblox. I really am incredible. Hey, Chet. What is this? Who are you? Some sort of new production assistant? No. This little broadcast of yours is under new management now. Oh my gosh, you're Tony. No, uh, let's be reasonable here, man. We're all professionals, right? Yeah, I don't think so, Chet. This is my show now, and you're gonna get it started right now. Okay, okay, please, just don't hit me in the face. It's my livelihood. Shut up and read the news. Uh, yes, yes, right away. Good. Get rolling. We're going live to everybody. There are so many heroes coming to this hospital now. I just traded the Hulk for a splinter. How cool is that? I was able to help all the regular patients in the hospital too. This is working out way better than I ever imagined. Dr. Keith, you need to see this. Uh, yes. Hi, everybody. Ch Ch Chet Flanderson here to inform you that I'm currently being held hostage by a horrifying criminal named Tony. And, uh, he has something he wants to say. Hey, Roblox, listen up. I'm Tony, and this is my city now. I've got Chet here, and the May is next. This town will burn to the ground unless the Avenger steps up and surrenders to me. You got one hour, superhero. I have to do it. I have to turn myself in. No way. This city needs you. You're their only hope. Oh, let me handle this. What are you talking about? These people need you. And I hate to break it to you, but you're not a superhero. I know I'm not, but I have a plan. 
I actually think this will work out perfectly. Oh boy, I hope this works. Oh, there he is. You finally made it. Took you long enough. Oh my goodness, I'm free. Chet is free. Thank you, thank you. Forget about him. I've been waiting a long time for this. You're a real pain in my neck, you know? Yeah, well, he here I am. Now it's time to finally see who you are. The heck, it's you. You're not the Avenger. Yeah, I'm not. The real Avenger's on his way. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Uh, not if I have anything to do with it. End of the line, man. Tony, no! <laughs> ah! Ugh. Oh, Avenger? Spider-Man? <laughs> Glad you're okay, Doc. Well, what the heck happened? That guy had some explosives planted on some cars. The blast must have knocked you out pretty good. Tony got away before I could get there. I'm really sorry. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Probably just shocked. Maybe some smoke inhalation. Nothing too bad. Man, you're one tough doctor. So what do we do now? How do we stop this guy? I think I know where Tony is. Thanks to me, I might add. I had some spider bots do some recon. I think we found his location. Good, now I'm coming with you. No, you need to rest, Keith. I won't be able to rest until this is over. Plus, I wanna watch Tony get in trouble for everything he's done. Man, I can't believe I'm actually breaking into a bank. I haven't done this in years. Oh, whatever though. Once I get the money, I can lay low for a while. Everything's gonna be just fine. It's over, Tony. Yeah, you wish, loser. There's no way you're gonna stop me. Ah, what the heck? Yeah, later, nerds. I'm out of here. We can't let him escape. Let's go. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to get away with this. Ah, uh, wait. Ah! Oh, my gosh. No. Tony, can you hear me? Tony, oh, you're not dying on me today. Avenger, come on. I need your help. Three, two, one. Clear. Whoa, what the? Hey, you saved me after everything I did? I've said it before. I'm a doctor. I'll always save people. Where's my wife? Echo Man, please come this way. Ah! Oh, it's a baby boy. Charlotte, are you okay? I feel so weak. You're gonna be okay, sweetheart. Don't worry. If I don't make it, I, I want you to name our son Alex. I really want you to take care of him. I promise, I'll take care of him. Just like I'll always take care of him. We're, we're losing her! Hurry, do something! I'm sorry, Echo Man. There's nothing I can do. Charlie, I'm so sorry, my love. Guess it's just you and me now, Alex. Hey, look who it is. It's the loser. Still pretending to be a superhero? Look, I, I don't need to pretend, Eric. I am one. No, you're not. Superheroes have superpowers, and you've got nothing. Look, I might not have powers yet, but I'm way stronger than you both. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah? Well, if you're so strong, why don't you show us your powers, Mr. Superhero? Uh, fine. Watch this. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, nice try, sad boy. Yeah, you're such an idiot. Check it out, Eric. Loser thinks he's Echo Man or something. <laughs> and he's like so nice. Hey, Echo Man's my dad. Y'all right. The Echo Man? Y'all keep dreaming, idiot. So what if I don't have powers right now? Johnny and Eric are just jerks. I'm the son of a superhero. And I'll be getting my powers any day now. I, I can feel it. Oh, man. It has been a long day. Uh, hey, Dad. How was your day, son? It was okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's on your mind? How old were you when you got your powers? Well, I was born with my powers on my home world called Ekonoro. So, is everyone from your world born with powers? Yeah, that's right. But your mother was just an ordinary human. So that's why you didn't inherit powers at birth, I'm guessing. So, wait, I'm never gonna have powers then, am I? No, Alex, that's not true. I believe your powers will gradually develop. It just takes time. I hope so. I mean, I want to fly around the world with you, Dad. Fight bad guys, shoot laser beams from my eyes. I mean, all of it. <laughs> Flying around the world does sound amazing. But remember, even without powers, you can still be a hero. Alex, I love you, but duty calls. Someone's trying to rob the bank. Stay safe, Alex. Uh, I'll be home soon. <sighs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday, I'll be flying off too, right by your side. Everyone looks up to Dad because he's the strongest hero in the world, but I feel so weak compared to him. 
I'm his son. I should be just as strong as he is. Shut up, you loser. You're gonna give me all your money. No, please, no, I don't even have that much. I said, shut up. Tad told me that I could be a hero even without my powers. So that's what I'm gonna do. Leave him alone and give him his stuff back. <laughs> oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it, punk? Give me all your stuff too. No way. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a tough guy, huh? I think you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Uh. Alex, Alex, wake, wake up. up! Son, son, son wake, wake up. up! Can you hear me? Uh, what, what happened? Dad, what's going on? Saved you from that criminal. What were you thinking, Alex? I was trying to be a hero, just like you said. That's not what I meant. I meant being a hero is more about just having powers, but courage, compassion, making the right choices. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I tried my best. Come on, let's get you home. Dude, I can't believe you tried to stop that robber. I mean, that was brave of you, but stupid. Yeah, thanks, Taylor. I just wish I could have actually done something. And of course, my dad had to swoop in and save the day, like he always does for everyone. I can understand how you feel, though, dude. Having Echo Maiden as your dad must be challenging. How could I ever measure up to even a fraction of what he is? I mean, it's a tough spot, man. I don't envy you at all. Maybe you should try to talk to your dad. I mean, he'll understand better than I do. And... Maybe he can help you find your own path. You're right, Taylor. I need to talk to him. He's so excited for the day I get powers, but what if that day never comes? He's still your dad, Alex. He won't be as disappointed as you will be. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'll talk to him tonight. Now, come on. Thanks to the incredible efforts of Echo Man, the city's mayor has been found and safely returned. What would the city do without its beloved hero? Enough of this! I'm sorry I'm late, Alex. The mayor needed my help once again. Yeah, I just saw the news. You know, sometimes I feel like I need a day off just to do nothing. But things will get too chaotic without me. <laughs> Dad, what if I never get powers? What? What do you mean, Alex? What if my powers never develop? And I'm just normal. Alex, your powers will come in due time. You just need to be patient. But what if they don't? It's just theoretically. Then you'll be a normal human, just like your mother, and there'll be nothing wrong with that. Says the superhero. Listen to me, Alex. No matter what, I love you. Powers or no powers, you're still my son. Sorry if I've put too much pressure on you with all this superhero talk. It's okay, Dad. I really want powers so bad that I feel like I'll disappoint you if I don't have them. You won't disappoint me, Alex. I'm already so proud of the man you've become. Plus, your mother didn't have powers. She was the best person on this planet. You're my son. And I will always love you. Don't worry about this anymore, okay? Tomorrow, I'll help you. Come on, Alex, push yourself. You can do it. Um, I'm trying, Dad. Just lift the car. I mean, it should be easy. Uh, nothing is happening. Ah! ah, so stupid. Maybe super strength isn't your power. Let's try something else. Uh, how about super speed? Super speed? Yeah, I knew a guy that could run so fast he ran around the entire planet and turned back time. At least that's what he told everyone. <laughs> All right, come on, let's give it a shot. Run as fast as you can. All right, did you keep up with me, Alex? I didn't even start yet. Oh, oh, uh, right, whenever you're ready. All right, here goes nothing. Wow, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm really doing it. I hmm, maybe super speed isn't your thing either. There's got to be something. Dad, I think it's time we both admit it. I don't have powers. Nonsense. We just haven't unlocked your true power yet. There's something out there for you. I, I know it. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Once again, duty calls. Wait, I thought you said you were taking the day off. Alex, there are no days off when you're a superhero. Now I have to go. I'll see you at home. Yeah. Bye, Dad. I'm really starting to think that my dad wants me to have powers more than I do. I don't know if I can handle that pressure. Well, like, maybe he feels like he let you down or something. But it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. All I'm saying is, it could be weighing on him more than you realize. Yo, what's up, losers? <sighs> Shut up, Johnny. I don't need this right now. Yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna go cry to your dad, Echo Man? 
you guys suck. You do know that his dad really is Echo Man, right? Hey, watch your mouth. We weren't talking to you, dude. Ah! Leave my friend alone. <laughs> Daddy, you're seeing this, right? Maybe he really is Echo Man's son. Alex, land this instant, young man. Sorry, Principal Jefferson. I... For all this commotion, you'll get detention after school today. But I was defending my friend. I don't want to hear it. Detention now. Dude, I can't thank you enough for standing up for me. I mean, you really showed those jerks. Of course, dude. Did you see the look on Eric's face? I mean, like, priceless. Yeah, yeah I did. And, dude, can you believe it? I actually got my powers! So what else can you do, man? Now that you've got superpowers, there's no limit! Uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay, uh, lift that car over there. Maybe you've got super strength now. All right, all right, all right. Just, uh, watch this. Ah! Oh my goodness! Dude, okay, super strength, check. I can't wait to get home and show my dad. He's gonna be so proud of me. Uh, I'll see you later, man. Dad, guess what? I heard you got detention. What happened? Yeah, uh, I did, but it's because something amazing happened to me. I got my powers. Watch this. Ah! Alex, that's incredible. You can fly. I knew I had it in me, Dad. I, I knew I did. I can fly just well, like you. Well, not just like me. I mean, your form still needs some work, but I couldn't be prouder of you. You're becoming an amazing hero, just like your old man. <sighs> Come on, let's go fly around the world together. I always wanted to be just like you, and now, look at me, I finally can be. Well, I'm Echo Man. You're Alex. You're your own person. You can be the kind of hero you're meant to be. Thanks, Dad. Now, come on, what do you say? Around the world and back before dinner? I'll race you. Oh, yeah, right, you're on. Let's see who can fly faster. How did I do? Five minutes and three seconds. Yes! Beat my own time again! I'm getting faster! Your progress is remarkable. When am I gonna get my own suit and start fighting crime with you? You won't be. What? What do you mean? I've already made my decision. It's important to keep your powers a secret. But, Dad, I, I, I want to help people just like you. I, I want to make a difference. I know, Alex, and you will make a difference. But there's something bigger in store for you. I'm preparing you for a greater purpose. Okay, Dad. Uh, I'll be patient. Good. Keep on training and remember, you're destined for greatness, kid. You're the son of Echo Man. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, no. I'm late for school. I gotta go. Oh, come on, man. Don't show me something cool with your powers. Uh, cut it out, Taylor. It's gotten into you, dude. Since when have you been shy about your powers? Uh, since my dad told me to be careful and not reveal them to anyone. The heck? Why would he tell you that? He didn't explain it fully. He just said it was important to keep them hidden and that he has a plan for me. Ugh. Sounds like a typical overprotective parent, if you ask me. But what do you want to be? What do you want to do with your power? You know what I want. I want to be a hero. I want to use my powers to save people. I want to make my dad proud and follow his footsteps. Then you should do what you think is best for you. All your heart. Be the hero you want. I know. You're right. I do want to help people, and maybe I can do it without my dad knowing. I'll just have to be a hero in secret. Hand over the money now! All right, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Man, oh man! When's he gonna let me do this stuff on my own, huh? I mean, I think I can rob a gas station. How hard can it be? Hello there. <laughs> oh, goodness! That's enough! What the? <laughs> <sighs> Call the cops, okay? They'll handle the rest. Here, take the money back. Whoa, uh, thanks, man. What happened here? Who did this? It was, uh, some kid. I don't know who he was. Looks like someone's coming for your job, Echo Man. Kid, you say? I know what you've been doing, Alex. What? Uh, what are you talking about, Dad? Don't play!
play dumb. I know you've been sneaking out and fighting crime for weeks now. I, uh, no... You know, what's wrong with that, huh? I want to be a hero. I told you. There are bigger things than stopping these petty crimes. I want to protect you until the time is right. Why won't you tell me what those bigger things are then? Why keep me in the dark? Because you're not ready. There are challenges that lie ahead. And I need to prepare you properly. Well, I won't let you stop me from doing what I want to do. <sighs> Alex, I know you want to make me proud, and you already have. There's so much more at stake. Things I, I can't explain yet, but trust me, you will need to be ready someday soon. I need to make a call back to Echo Noro, and this is because of you, Alex. They should know about this. I never seemed good enough for him, and now he's calling his homeworld because of me? <sighs> Whatever. It won't stop me from becoming the hero I was meant to be. I just don't understand what his deal is. No matter what I do, it never seems to be enough to make him happy, man. Why wouldn't he want your help finding crime? I mean, you have powers just like he does. He just keeps saying there's something bigger coming, something more important than being a hero. It's like he's holding me back, and he won't even say why. Well, whatever he's got planned, it better be good. I mean, I can't be a superhero sidekick if my superhero friend can't do any superhero thing. <laughs> What fun! Oh, where's the jewelry store? Oh no. You have to stop this guy, Alex. This is your chance to prove yourself. Did you say stop him? Look at him, he's an actual supervillain. Yeah, and if someone doesn't stop him right now, people are gonna get hurt. Do it, Alex. Not just for your dad, but do it for yourself and for everyone here. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. It's my choice to be a hero, not my dad's. You got this, Alex. You've got this. No one is leaving this incredibly outdated shopping mall until I have what I came for! Are you looking for this? Yeah! Whoa! Yo, let's go, dude! That was incredible! Yeah, it was. All right, dude, look, we need to leave. People are gonna start asking questions. Come on. Oh my, oh my. In a surprising turn of events, a new hero emerged at the mall today. This unknown hero known as the Second Echo Man was captured on surveillance cameras, demonstrating remarkable powers and saving innocent lives. Oh no, they're calling me the Second Echo Man? Alex! Oh, um, hey, Dad. Don't you hey, Dad, me. Do you realize what you've done? Yeah, I saved people today from that crazy supervillain. No, you broke the one rule I gave you. I'm not sorry, Dad. I enjoy being a hero, and I I'm not scared of people finding out about me. Why are you so afraid? You weren't like this before. Because I told you, Alex, there are more important things at stake here. Then what is it? What's so important? Ugh. All right, fine. I suppose it's time. First, we need to get you a suit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, like a real superhero suit with, with a, a mask and a cape and everything? Yes, we have to protect your identity. There are dangers out there. And if people find out who you really are... I understand. Uh, wow, my own super suit. If this is what you truly want, I'll support you. And honestly, you did a good job today. Now, come on. We have work to do. Let's go get you that suit. Ah, Echo Man! It has been a long time, my friend! Han, it's been too long. And who is this? Oh, this is my son, Alex. I'm sure you saw him on the news already. Ah, uh, yes! Second Echo Man! Terrible name! Hey, hey uh, I didn't come up with it. Now, why are you here? You need a new cape again? No, no, not this time. We're here for Alex. He's ready for his own suit. Hmm, I suppose I can whip up something quick. So, you're the suit maker? Suit maker? Young man, I am the only one who brings heroes to life. Now, let's get started, shall we? I'm a very busy man. Wow! Yeah, looking pretty sharp, kid. Hans did a good job as usual. I feel like a real hero now. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Now, I'm gonna make a call to our homeworld. I may know my son is ready to embrace his destiny. This is Echo Man. Calling from Earth. Status update. We're ready for the next phase. My son is fully prepared. Does he know? No. He's completely oblivious to our intentions. Excellent. It's time to execute our plan. Begin immediately. Dad? Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, an administrator on our homeworld, of course. I was just informing our fellow Echonorians that my son is ready. That's all. Ready for what? Tonight, meet me at the cliffs outside the city. I'll reveal everything you need to know. Okay. 
I can't wait. But first, I need to meet up with Taylor. Well, don't be late. This is crucial. Be there on time. I won't let you down, Dad. I promise. That looks so cool. Dude, I mean, you're a real hero now. I remember when you used to be so worried about not having powers at all. Dude, look at you now. Yeah, feels like a lifetime ago, but everything has changed and I couldn't be happier. So what's the first thing you're planning to do with your dad? An epic crime fighting adventure? Stopping a new supervillain from taking over the world? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm meeting up with him tonight to discuss something important, but I don't know the details yet. Well, you have to let me know whatever it is, dude. I'm dying to find out. Plus, as your unofficial official sidekick, I need to know these things. I will, for sure. As soon as I find out, you'll be the first to know. Just do me a favor. Keep my identity a secret. If you don't, you'll have to answer to my dad. Oh, trust me. I don't want your dad mad at me. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, no. Looks like he might be mad at me again. I I'm late. Uh, sorry, dude. I I've got to fly. You're late, Alex. I told you not to be late! I'm sorry, Dad. I got caught up with Taylor and- No matter. We must focus on our purpose. We are not like these people on Earth, Alex. You and I are different. Well, yeah. I mean, you're from another planet, and I'm half human. I've always known that. Forget about your human side. You're a real Echonorian now. Forget about my human side? What are you talking about? Did I ever tell you what our purpose is, Alex? To do what is right and save the innocents, protect the planet? You told me that when I was just a kid. Is that what you're talking about? In a way, our purpose, Alex, is to conquer. Years of training have made us perfect for this mission. Conquer? Dad, I don't understand. I spent years gaining the trust of these pathetic people on Earth. And now, with your help, we can swiftly conquer it. Complete the mission I was sent here to do. Wait, you, you want to take over the world? Of course. It's what we do. The Echonorian Empire spans thousands of planets over this galaxy. I was sent to conquer this one. And now that you're ready, I can complete my purpose. <laughs> no. No! I won't help you do this! I have friends here! People I care about! The dead! This is our home! This isn't a question. It's our mission. Our duty. What don't you understand? I don't understand why you want me to destroy everything! Do you even hear yourself right now? You're, you're Echo Man! No! I won't become a part of this! This is what you were born to do, son. Now, join me. No! Never! Uh, Echo Man, uh, wh what are you doing here? Where is Alex? Alex, uh, oh, he's not here. I uh, haven't seen him today. Taylor, I know he's here. I can sense it. I have to speak with him. All right, fine. Here, Alex, uh, I'm sorry. I, I tried. It's okay. Don't worry. Alex, come home. No way. I'm not going anywhere with you. Have you even thought about what I said? Our purpose, our mission? <laughs> Mission! Yeah, I've thought about it, Dad, and I refuse to join it. You know, Mom wouldn't want this for us. I believe we were meant for something greater, so something better, but this? You don't seem to understand who we are, Alex. Your mother, she was not like us. I know she wasn't like us, and that's why I choose a different path. I believe we can be heroes, not conquerors. You truly don't believe in this, do you? You believe in these weak humans in this sad world? Yeah, I do. Alex, please come with me to Town Hall tomorrow. I want to reveal us to the world. Show them who we truly are. I'll think about it, Dad. But know that I won't compromise my beliefs. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. You'll see, Alex. This is our destiny. It's your destiny? To take over the planet? Oh. Yeah, I know. And my dad wants to reveal it to everyone tomorrow. It just doesn't make sense to me. I thought your dad was a hero. Yeah, so did I. You think he's really gonna go through with it? I mean, he knows you're against it. Look, I, I don't know. He seemed so serious about it last night, and honestly, it was kind of scary. It's like he's convinced we're, we're different from the people here on Earth. That we're meant to conquer it? You're not... You didn't actually consider joining him, did you? I mean, after everything we talked about, you wanted to be a hero your whole life. There's no way I'm joining it, Taylor. I've spent most of my life as a human, among everyone. 
They are my people, and this is my home. I can't fight for a cause I don't believe in, and for people I've never even met. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, forget those Echinorians, dude. Stay true to yourself and what you believe in. Thanks, Taylor. I really needed to hear that. Maybe tomorrow, revealing ourselves together will help my dad realize just how much these people mean to us. Well, I'm here for you, dude, and I've got your back. I mean, as long as you don't decide to lose your mind and take over the world. I won't, I promise. I just hope my dad hasn't lost his completely. Ladies and gentlemen, Echo Man is here to introduce us all to his son, the new superhero called, um... Uh, what was your name again? Uh, Alex. Alex? Huh, great hero name. Just Alex, huh? Son of Echo Man is just Alex? I, I didn't have time to think about this. Uh, uh, it's actually reverb. All right, that's more like it. Ladies and gentlemen, our new hero, Reverb. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Man. Yes, today I have the honor of introducing you all to a new hero that's emerged to protect our city, my son. Incredible. I'm so lucky to have these heroes to protect us in our beloved city. Thank you all for your support. We want you to know that we're all here for you. And soon, you will all see our true power and our true purpose, who we really are, your protectors. Dad? What are you doing? This isn't what we discussed. <laughs> oh, sorry about this, everyone. Uh, he's new to this. <laughs> the humor on this guy. But with Echo Man and Reverb at our side, this city has never been in better hands. So we just lied to everyone? Was that your plan all along? It's not about lying, Alex. It's about strategic planning. Catching the inhabitants of Conquered Worlds off guard is essential to a smooth colonization process. But why? Why do we have to conquer worlds? It's, it's not right. You just don't understand yet, that's all. Our purpose is greater than just one world. It's about fulfilling our destiny and serving the interests of the Echinorian Empire. But what about the people here? The lives we've saved, the hope we've given them. Don't they matter? Our allegiance lies with Echo Noro. We can't let personal attachments cloud our judgment. I thought there was still good in you. I thought, out of all people, you could see the impact that we can truly make. Enough of this! We are loyal members of the Empire, and that is our duty. Now, my pathetic supervillains are about to make their move, and you have a choice to make. Stand with me, or stand against me. I will never let you win, Dad. There is still good in you, buried deep down. I know there is, and I will fight for that good. You don't stand with me, then you stand against me. If that is my destiny, then so be it. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Ah, get out of my office, you hooligan. Shut up. Somebody wants to speak with you. Oh, Echo Man, thank goodness. Stop this villain. Good work. You served your purpose. Well, what is happening? Are you working with this villain? I run this city now, Mayor. And soon, this world will belong to the Echinorian Empire. No, no, it can't be. Someone help, please. Breaking news, uh, Echo Man uh, has gone rogue now and is threatening to conquer the world. Literally no one saw this coming and uh, we are all feared for our lives. Reports have it that he is holding the mayor hostage. Oh my goodness, a superhero has turned on us people. Okay, stay calm. There was no one to protect us. What are we gonna do? I can't believe it. My dad, he really went through with it. So uh, what are you gonna do, Alex? I need to step up. I need to become the hero. I always wanted to be. But that's your father. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. But I can't let this happen, Taylor. It's time to save my people. Looks like my dad has all the supervillains doing his dirty work. I have to do this. What do you think you're doing, little hero? I'm taking you down. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Echo Man must be so disappointed in you. Oh! Hey, hey, stay away from us, sir! I'm here to help, okay? I promise. You can trust me. Trust you? Your Echo Man's son! This must be all part of his plan, his evil plan! No, 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 it's not! I just saved you and the others from Echo Man's minions! Look, I'm not like my father, okay? I want to save the city. I, uh, I guess that means that does make sense. We'll just knock them all out, so, uh... Well, if you're willing to help us fight back again, these villains. I am. Let's work together. We need to rescue the mayor as soon as we can. And I have to stop my father. 
Dad! I had a feeling you'd come here. Just please. You have to stop this. It's it's not too late to make things right. Why can't you see the greatness in our purpose, Alex? This is an honor bestowed upon us. An honor? Our purpose should involve destroying people's lives. I know what my purpose is. To protect my home and use my powers for good. Good is a point of view, Alex. Protecting these insignificant beings? I did that to gain their trust. To buy time for you to grow into your powers and to help well, me. Well, I've grown and I understand where we are now. I looked up to you, you know. You were my number one hero. And now, I don't even know who I'm looking at. I won't let you harm innocent people. And I won't hold back. And I won't hold back either. I gotta get out of here. I try to talk to him, and he won't listen. Well, then we got no choice. Echo Man's officially a supervillain now. Can't believe my own dad would stoop this low. We have to stop him before he causes irreparable damage. How did we not see this coming? We trusted him, Alex. Like stupid idiots. We believed his lies. Now we have to face the consequences. Look, I'll create a distraction for you and the police to rescue the citizens. It's the only way to ensure their safety. All right. We need to evacuate everyone before you confront Echo Man. Destruction that you two could do in your battle, it would be devastating. Yeah, I understand. Are you okay, Alex? No. How could I be? I mean, look, I'm trying to stay strong, and I know I have to stay focused. Not only is he the most powerful man on this planet, he's my dad, man. Look, I think I can beat him. I just, I have to hold it together. Please, be careful. I don't want anyone else getting hurt. You're my best friend. Anything happened to you? I understand, Taylor. But the world won't be safe until Echo Man is stopped. And I think I'm the only one that can do it. Release them! Now! <laughs> You're just a weakling, Reverb. If you had joined us, you'd be more powerful. I'm stronger than you think. <laughs> oh my! The police are on their way, okay? Just stay calm. They'll guide you to safety. You've done incredible work, Alex. You've located where the man's being held. I'll go there personally. We need someone to lead us through this chaos. Good luck, Alex. We're counting on you. So... This is where he's holding the mayor? Okay, Alex, just breathe. You've got this. Let him go! Yeah! Thank you, Reverb! You're a true hero! Of course. Now let's get out of here! So, did you find your dad? No. He had his minions take care of the grunt work. But I know where he'll be. It's time to stop this. Sorry, Alex. It's okay. I'm the one that should be sorry. He's my father, and I won't let him harm anyone else. I'll make things right, I promise. I know you can hear me with your sonic hearing. Come out! Have you changed your mind, son? Changed my mind? You, you really don't know your own son, do you? Just stop this! We don't have to fight! There's still time to change this! I can't change who I am, Alex. Our purpose is clear and I must fulfill it. You have become more powerful than I ever imagined. You did well defeating my men. Enough! I don't need your praise. The idea you have is wrong. I'm sorry for your lack of vision. And I'm sorry for your lack of humanity. Just listen to me, okay? We can find another way. One that doesn't involve the destruction and conquering. I have accepted my destiny, Alex. I only wish for you to join me. To share in the glory of our heritage, our bloodline. I can never join you in taking over this world. I fight for the people, for their safety, for their well-being. That's what mom would have wanted. If you won't stand by my side, then I'll have to destroy you. I'm sorry, Dad, but I won't let you harm anyone else.